All right, there we are. All right. Things didn't really work out the way I was hoping they would work out. I literally had to uh, set up a character very quickly on PS5, even though I was planning to play on uh, PC like normal. But I was having some PC issues and running both OBS and the game at the same time, which result in uh, significant lag. So that was a bit of a... Uh, that was a bit of a... Oh, oh, let's check the sound. Oh, one second. So, unfortunately, we don't have the benefit of... Um, of, uh, you know, that uh, the benefit you uh, you have uh, on PC, like uh, with Cheat Engine, you can just start with the right uh, stuff and uh, fast travel and all that kind of good stuff. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way this time. All right, then. Uh -huh. At least I got my coffee. Very important. Okay, let's bring up the chat. Okay. Time to get frosty. Exactly. Shockingly frosty. And that's a good thing. Ha uh -huh. Okay, I'm back. At least that's how it feels. It feels like I uh, have returned from a long journey. Although I'm not properly home yet because I haven't completely finished up everything when it comes to recording music. So, But I'm close to finished. I have to uh, edit some stuff and that kind of stuff and make sure that everything is properly rendered and that kind of stuff. But at least the end is in sight. The end is in sight. Unfortunately, that does mean I have to very quickly make a video before Stellar Bla uh, Blade comes out. And it's only two weeks from now. So that's the reason, even though I originally wanted to do uh, wanted to do uh, Dark Souls 2 uh, without soul memory. But the thing is, even if that run it itself wouldn't necessarily uh, take that much longer, although it probably would. The thing is, that would be a very script-heavy video. So I uh, yeah, would probably either not be able to finish in time or I would have to have acid and... Uh, if you're going, yeah. If you're going to make a video, then you have to full asset. You cannot have asset, right? That's the way it is. Um, <coughs> I, I, am I going to stream Stellar Blade? Well, not, I'm not going to do uh, stream a blind play for. I don't do that for anything. <laughs> I mean, uh, even for Elden Ring, hardly anyone cared about that. First of all, I didn't uh, streaming as a, a blind play was not that helpful anyway. I uh, with Elden Ring, by the way. With Elden Ring, by the way, uh, the DLC, uh, my first playthrough of that game, I will record it at least. I will not be streaming it, but I will record it. So, just like I did for the for the main game. Uh, by the way, the the chat has to be a little uh, bigger because otherwise I can hardly read what you guys are saying. So, all right then. Okay. Uh, well, Tyson, that's true, but I, uh, as you know about me, I would add in some uh, additional uh, additional stuff. So it, it would still be an interesting video, but unfortunately they will have to wait. There's also, uh, by the way, uh, a, a modded run that I had in mind for DS3, but that's what we'll have to wait as well, unfortunately. I even got uh, Challenger Andy to help me out with that. So... But, you know, eventually we're going to return to those games anyway. Of course, after this run, first it will be Stellar Blade. And then, of course, by uh, probably, depending on how that game turns out, uh, we will have the Elden Ring DLC. But eventually, bro, it's inevitable. It's inevitable that we will return to Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and all that stuff. Okay, but unfortunately, guys, because we are on, uh, we are on PS5 now... Instead uh, of on PC, by the way, am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, good. Instead of on PC, I cannot just mod in the Dragon Halberd. I do actually, as you can see in the uh, as you can see in the description box, I wanted to do this run like a year ago, and someone recommended. I forgot who it was, unfortunately, but someone actually uh, said that there was a specific glitch that you can use in order to uh, to obtain the Dragon Halberd without attacking the Dragon King soldier, uh, Dragon Kin soldier. Uh, I do have footage of that. I never actually get rid of the footage. I don't have that character anymore. And even if I had, given that I'm not on PC, it would have been on PC anyway. So, um, so I do have footage of that, where I uh, use a glitch to kill the Dragon King soldier and obtain the Dragon Halberd that way. So, in the in the final video of this run, the, it will contain that. But 
uh, it's going to take too long to even replicate it. I would have to actually look up how I did it. And it might actually have been patched out since then. So I don't know. I don't know. Have, have there been patches since the last year? I think there have been, right? Well, whatever. Uh, regardless, so uh, in order to obtain the Dragon Helmet, we just have to kill the Dragon Soldier here. Uh, just using our uh, broadsword here. And after that, we'll just uh, focus on uh, obtaining the rest of the Ice Lightning uh, weapons. There, are, there aren't that many. There are only three uh, of those in the entire game. By the way, I should uh, get on Torrent. So I'll have to kill the Dragon Soldier with an upgraded broadsword. The thing is, I actually never fight Dragon Soldiers. So that's going to be something. Especially given that in order to obtain the Dragon Skill Blade, you know, the, the Ice Lightning Katana... Um, you will have to defeat the one in the lake of uh, the lake of rot. I've never even fought that. By the way, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Or no, no, here's the teleporter. I think I never actually fought <laughs> that dragon soldier. So that's gotta be fun. So, well, we'll just uh, see what happens. So, well, uh, let's just, uh, just hopefully we can very quickly get through this fight and then uh, use the Dragon Halberd in order to kill the Dragon Soldier of Nextella to get the Frozen Lightning spell. And, of course, getting uh, to the Lake of Rot, that's going to take a while. Which kind of sucks because we have to actually get past Redan for that. Oh, boy. I'm also extremely rusty because I haven't uh, been, uh, I haven't done a proper run of this playthrough sin of since of this game since the community run. And in fact, even back then, I said that I hadn't <laughs> done a proper run <laughs> since uh, the Flame Dance uh, playthrough. So yeah, I am rusty as hell. So maybe I should use that as an excuse to start ranking everything in this game. But uh, I mean more uh, in the sense that I just haven't played it. Uh, in a while, so I'm not uh, in my best form, so to say. And to be honest, I haven't been gaming at all since the since well, first of all, the Stellar Blade demo that I uh, streamed uh, two weeks ago or something. Well, anyway, <laughs> so we're just going to take on the Dragon Soldier here with our uh, broadsword. Unfortunately, I think he is skilled rather relatively high. So, given that we are still at base level, we're probably going to die. In one hit, so that's gonna be nice. Especially given that I don't really know the moveset of this guy. Well, at least square off is a really good as of war. Oh, I didn't actually get the no, whatever. Oh, I, I got staggered by something, but oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So the thing is, I just don't know what the hell this guy even actually does. And he does kill me in one hit. I was kind of uh, afraid of that. <laughs> so, um, getting started with the run is going to be tricky. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Alright. Um, okay, let's make sure I can... Oh, hold on. Hey, Agony, how are you doing? <laughs> Good luck for this run press. I'm uh, probably going to need it. As I said, I'm quite rusty, so... And I will have to do some fights that I uh, haven't done in a while. Or at all. <laughs> well, at least square off can help us quite a lot, because, as I said, three times is enough for... Stagger. Okay. So let's... Oh, oh. I'm panic for a link. That's not smart. So let's focus on using square off. Whoa. Oh, fuck. He's easy to miss for such a big target. <laughs> oh, you're playing Lies of P, uh, Agony. Good choice. It's a good game.
Fuck, no, I'm dead. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, but he has quite a bit of uh, bit of health uh, for an early game. Well, it kind of depends on which route you take in order to even get here. Did he just hit you with a with a with a scratch? Probably. Isn't that pretty normal for big enemies in this game? Uh, by the way, uh, guys, how was the audio? Oh, Adam says I'm so sleepy, but I want to watch the stream. I understand. Ah, it was fine. Okay, good. It's a good thing that you basically get a free stagger, given that he has to wake up. Oh fuck! Damn it! I wanted to attack his head first. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Come on, I just I, I literally just have to do this fight in order to even get started with the playthrough. So that's uh that's helpful. Especially because I'm a little pressed for time after all. I mean uh This video is not going to be a very heavily edited one because uh I literally just don't have the time for that uh, the coming uh, two weeks. So <laughs> yeah, pray <laughs> stop dying. Yeah, I know Alex. I know. Oh you're still stuck at Exasia. Ah, that's basically uh, Lies of P uh, version of Melania. Oh fuck, I missed. Well, that's not good. There goes my free opportunity. I didn't have any stamina to avoid that. Okay. <laughs> this fight is probably going to take half the stream. I hope not. I hope not. The, the thing is that uh, uh, I don't think the, uh, this guy has a very complex moveset. The problem is, because it's a big enemy, you can't really see what the hell he's even doing. Also, because he's hunched over, that's kind of weird. Because he does, uh, uh, basically, around his belly, there's like no hitbox, sort of. Like, well, the, the bellies are more or less missing. So, a bit peculiar in that sense. So hopefully this is not going to do too, uh, too long. <laughs> I almost got caught in that delayed attack, by the way. What the hell? I thought that was going to go over me. Shit. <laughs> Do you remember taking like half an hour to find America Scar Seal? Yeah, especially when uh, the chat was like delayed by like a minute or something. That it's uh, very hard uh, to follow directions then. Yes. Yeah, I'm just uh, shaking off the rust. That's true. <laughs> I hope this fight is not foreshadowing the whole run. Have a little bit of faith uh, in me. Speaking of faith, we actually have to level up faith uh, quite a bit in this run. Because uh, Frozen Lightning Spear costs... You have to have like uh, 33 faith for that, I think. It's uh, it's quite a lot. Oh fuck, I messed up at the beginning. Well, I was not paying attention. Shit, stupid. Well, at least the game is running properly. So as I said, I, I'm on PS5 now because uh, I was having some uh, PC problems, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. I remember Presses Artorias run in DS1. Yeah, that was uh, an unexpectedly very difficult playthrough. Yeah, 34 faith. That's uh, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay, now I have to. Let's pay a bit more attention. Fuck, I already slowed down a bit too much. So. Basically, missed my free opportunity already. Better. Okay, good. 
Square off is definitely helping me a lot. <laughs> Of course, once I got the Ice Lightning weapons, I will have to rely on Ashes of War a lot as well, because those do quite a bit more damage than... Oh fuck, there goes my FP. Okay, did some random... Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, I missed. That's not good. Oh, that's with the AoE, I think. The problem is I still have to fight the other two <laughs> after this one. Damn it, this boy is already reset it. Oh. Okay, that's better. Fuck, didn't get the actual repost. Shit. All right, so we can get started. <laughs> We can actually get started. Hey, great enemy felt. Alright, so as I said uh, at the beginning of the stream, uh, in the actual video you, I will uh, demonstrate at least how... I don't know if that has been patched, whether or not, but there is in fact a way to uh, obtain this weapon without uh, defeating the boss, or at least by uh, without attacking the boss by using a glitch similar to uh, how you can skip uh, Commander Nial, where you basically uh, make him despawn and then he automatically dies. Anyway, <laughs> now we can actually get started. Very good. Well, at least I already start with uh, enough uh, to uh, to hand it, so that's a good thing. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I cannot just uh, give myself the the best fashion for uh, this playthrough, but I do uh, know of another way to obtain that. But you know, that's for later. That is all for later. I think uh, what we first need to do is uh, collect our next uh, talisman slot. And then, unfortunately, I will have to um, um, persuade Alexander to um, provide me with uh, a certain uh, talisman that he will uh, provide us with without requiring any uh, violence on our, on, on our part. So just... Pure pers persuasion, but I will advise you to uh, look away from the screen when uh, I have to do that. Maybe a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, so I probably first of all I will eventually have to be able to one hand so that I can easily switch. But I also need to level up faith for. Okay, at least that already gives me enough. With... Oh, no, it was 34. Ah, whatever. Should be fine. Alright. Why Confessor? Because they just start with... Uh, with a nice amount of faith and... Uh, you know, strength and dex. A little better than the Prophet, basically. Uh, okay. Um, so, first we're going to take on uh, Margit. And... Then it's time for the, ne the next drink in uh, Soldier, I would uh, say. So, let's see how effective Ice Lightning is against Margit. Probably should be uh, fine. I mean, the thing about the Ice Lightning weapons is, is when you play without upgrades, the buff adds quite a lot. That's basically where the idea, idea from uh, this came from. I, I think I even mentioned that when I did the community run, which was also without upgrades, is that the Ice Lightning weapons... First of all, of course, Frostbite is very helpful when you play without upgrades. But it's just, the buff adds quite a lot of damage. In fact, most of your damage will come from uh, the buff. Must well, flame is exactly what I don't have, Margaret. I have frost and lightning, which is a weird combination, but uh, it is what it is. 
All right then. Now, Margaret. Give you an opportunity to use some spinning slash of the cold bolt variety. So, that's nice. This uh, Ash of War does quite a bit. And of course, not even counting the front. Whoa, holy crap. Two attacks with a plus zero weapon. That's not bad at all. It does use quite a bit of FP. Oh, whoa, whoa. Son of a bitch. He's like, no, you're not supposed to use that. Okay. Yeah, jump towards me. No. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, fuck. Not in the right position. But that's fine. Yeah, just tank through it. Uh oh. Ah! No, not tank through it like that. Oh, no, no. Oh, that almost got me killed. Alright, and there he goes. Nice to see you, Margaret. Nice. You can see that buff adds so much, and that's very noticeable when you uh, don't have the benefit of uh, you know upgrading a weapon. Of course, it's going to drop off dramatically the further we get into the game, but still, you can see how uh, it actually kind of works, lightning and frostbite, because frostbite can be shockingly effective. Hey, Baron, how are you doing? Ice to see you all. Well, ice to see you as well, uh, Baron. There should be more ice lightning stuff in this game. Uh, hopefully in the DLC they uh, will add some more. Because, yeah, there are only three sources of ice uh, lightning in this entire game. So, that, uh, yeah. it's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame. Uh, the ice lightning spear spell does magic damage, right? I don't think so. It should do pure uh, lightning damage. I can't imagine it doing uh, magic damage. I know it's blue, but that's because of the frost uh, buildup. Um, uh, we still need actually a little bit more, but uh, that's fine. With the faith tier, we can... Uh, nay, uh, an upgrade, it simply means that uh, my uh, Dragon Halberd, Dragon Skill Blade, and the seal that I will use for the uh, for Frozen Lightning will be stay at plus zero. Like, Ghost Frame doesn't do fire damage. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, okay, so at least we now... <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, okay, if you guys have to take a bathroom break, then I think it's time for you to take a bathroom break right now. Because I'm going to have a friendly conversation with uh, with Alexander. So... I don't know, that's... Uh, it's going to be very friendly, don't worry. Nothing uh, bad is going to happen. But... If there's something else you have to do right now, then uh, maybe this is the time for you to do it. Hi Alexander, Hi, a good buddy, good buddy. Good buddy. See, we're going to help him out. Exactly. We're going to help him out. That's how we're going to do it. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, guys. So, we're ju it's just a friendly sparring match. And then he teleports away. It's it's with, it's with a bit of a sort of a exploding effect. But it's like a teleportation. It's, it's like a teleportation. So don't worry about it. So like he's here, boo, and he teleports away, and he uh, he leaves behind a token of our friendship, and, and that's the war jar shard. So he uh, he has like the magical ability to teleport. Yeah, he <laughs> teleports into NG plus exactly, Barrett. I wanted to say he just uh, teleports to uh, to a platform. Uh, so uh, uh, hello. 
Okay, the Dragonfly came to uh, check out uh, <laughs> what all the fuss was about. Kind of weird. So yeah, he just teleports to uh, a platform. Not upstate, but in New Game Plus, so to see, so to speak. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's what happened. Very nice. So he's uh, he's all right. He's all right. No, 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 no. That that's part of the teleportation effect during the game. That's 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 fine. There's there's, there's no issue here. There's no issue here. By the way, we don't really need those. Um, uh, the fifty years for later. Um, at least make sure that we get to 22 strength that I can eventually one hand my halberd. That will be very helpful. And I think we'll just have to go to the Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. There should be a charm that buffs all spinning base attacks. <laughs> that uh, would be an interesting one. But of course, uh, given that it's an Ash of War, the War Jar Shard... Already boosted by 10%, so that's very good. Uh, of course, the lightning charm will have to get some... Uh, isn't that in one of the catacombs? Yeah, that's again uh, part of uh, playing on the PS5. You don't have the benefit of just easily, quickly obtaining items. You have to do it the old-fashioned way. But, yeah, should be fine. Also, I already picked up Flame Cleanse Me here, and that's going to be handy later on when we get uh, to the Lake of Rot, where the third Dragonkin Soldier is, that drops the Ice Lightning Katana, the Dragon Skill Blade. Just ignore the Golem here. Fortunately, it's not the Laser Golem. Oh, they even opened the door up, uh, up for me. Beautiful. And later on, um, well, actually, I think after the Dragon Soul of Nuxtella, I think we need to acquire some uh, better fashion. And given that, one, I cannot even farm for it right now to begin with, and first of all, and secondly, I don't want to farm for something like that, there is actually a way to obtain it that is a bit more unconventional. But uh, you'll see what I mean later on. So we'll, we'll actually have to visit a specific cave that I never normally visit. But again, that's for later on. So first we actually need to get to the Dragon Soldier of Noxtella. This is also one of those areas where you never actually go. Although on my blind playthrough I was uh, quite enamored by this place. Because I kind of didn't see it coming, this uh, ant nest uh, here. They look a bit alien. Alien ant form. Do those still exist? Are they still okay? Are they okay? Are they okay? Not even sure if they still exist. Will you wear wigs? No. There are no wigs in this game. Oh wait, there is actually one. You know, from the... Uh, from uh, Godfrey set. You're going to get to see the elusive second phase of the Dragon Soldier. That's actually a good point. The Dragon King Soldier of Nextella has a second phase. Oh, there's, an, uh, there's actual grace here, by the way. Well, you normally don't really have a reason to come down here. Well, there is, I think there is like the highest ghost glove world uh, or something here. If you uh, want to upgrade uh, Mimic... Uh, well, not specifically the Mimic uh, tier, but... Any sort of ash. Uh, summoning ash. Have you ever watched any of the Elden Ring AI parodies on YouTube? Some are absolutely hilarious. Not I don't know specifically what you're referring to. Um, I may or may not have. Um, where exactly do you need to go from here? Again, I don't really know this area well. I think you just have to go... In here, or am I just wrong about that? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh yeah, and then you have to go to the left. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. The Clayman Harpoon can be uh, farmed. 
from these guys. Very good weapon. Oh, whoa, 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 there's an Estelio. What, what the fuck, delicious. Claymore Harpoon is a very interesting weapon because it uh, does split magic damage, but it can still be infused. So, with a cold infusion, for example, or even just with a magic infusion, you can uh, you can get some interesting results. Speaking of interesting results, <laughs> I wonder how things are going to go against the uh, Dragon Soldier of Nextella. At least I got a little bit of practice for the first phase, you know, from fighting the other uh, dragon again. So that's something. At least I hope I'm going the right direction. I actually have a lantern. Oh, I actually remember when I did my blind playthrough of this game. When I came here, I immediately expected a boss fight because this looks like a boss arena. But I was expecting that skeleton to come down from the from his throne, which never happened. So, well, it still resulted in a surprise given that <laughs> then suddenly the Dragon Soldier came falling down. But yeah, it's uh, kind of surprising that uh, they never did anything with those uh, skeletons on the front. Uh, no, it's actually different there, uh, Grill. It's uh, because Ice Lightning is actually a pretty good... The Ice Lightning weapons are actually pretty good weapons to use when you're not using upgrades, given that the buff... Adds a whole bunch of flat damage and of course the frost effect. The the frost effect. I think I even mentioned uh, that in the in the community run, which was also without upgrades. So I kind of, and uh, ice lightning is kind of an interesting concept in this game, but there's hardly any uh, ice lightning weapon in this entire game to begin with. And uh, so I was thinking, well, what can you do with uh, with those things? Well, unupgraded. <laughs> there you go. Alright, let's see if we can actually... Well, they are resistant to frostbite and lightning damage, but he's also in water. So, that that makes you think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, this one doesn't one-shot me. That's uh, surprising. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But, uh, yeah, but, but it's still not good. Oh, what the hell? Well, I lost most of my flash immediately before I even got properly started. Oh, what the crap. Ah, I don't have square off now, so... <laughs> that missed? Nice camera, by the way. <laughs> I'm going for all my flash right at the beginning. Very helpful. Delicious. Oh, and there's the second phase. Oh, if the watch out on the ground, I think you can see. Whoa! Whoa! Quick, heal, 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 heal! Oh, fuck! That was the AoE. <laughs> oh, boy. I was starved for ice lightning stuff. It's cool, but so rare. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel about it. <laughs> heal early in the fight so you don't have to heal later on. Yeah, it kind of didn't work out that way. You see the lightning? Oh, fuck. Massive AoE around it. You can see the lightning effect in the water, so even though he is resistant to lightning, he should take some extra damage from the... Okay, let's move away. 
Okay, I have to play it a bit more safer um, if I don't want to fuck up constantly. Annoying thing is the spinning slice is a bit slow. There are definitely a lot slower attacks, but still, it's not also not the fastest. Oh, camera, 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 I can't see. Oh, that's with the AoE. That's with the AoE. Get away. Oh, move away. That's with the AoE again. I actually expected this attack to do a little bit better poise damage, but it doesn't... Whoa, that doesn't seem to be the case. I haven't stunned him a single time, but I did kill him. Very yeah, nice. All right. And there we have Frozen Lightning Spear, the second Ice Lightning attack. And an actual incantation, to be specific. All right. Very good. Very good indeed. But of course, the further we get into the game, the weaker we become. And I'm already <laughs> struggling a bit more than uh, than I should, I suppose. But as I said, I'm, I'm quite a bit rusty and I never even fight these guys. Oh, by the way, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, that's quite a faith requirement. That's quite a faith requirement. But fortunately, with the faith tier, I should be able to already get to that point. And with this, I have enough strength to one hand. Let's take a look. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is also there is a there is a seal by the way that boosts dragon incantations, right? Not the dragon commune seal, but the the gravel stone one. Isn't that what in the in the capital? Don't really. Remember the exact location of that one, but I think that was in the capital. Oh, oops. I think this counts as the as one of the incantations that is uh, boosted by the by the gravel stone or gravel gravel stone seal, whatever it's called. I think so. I'm trying to figure out your accent. What language do you speak? I'm uh, Dutch. Uh, JX Pwn, <laughs> I think. Before the round table in the capital, yes. Okay, good. Well, that's for later then. Alright, so if we equip... If we equip... The faith tier... Then we should be able to use Frozen Lion Spear. And that's a pretty cool attack. There's only one downside. If you use it up close, as you can see, it moves, kind of moves forward. So if you, uh, if you basically use normal attack opportunities, then the attack kind of tends to go through the boss and not really hit him at all. Gravelstone Seal does work. Okay, good. There's like a 10% damage bonus, I think. So, well, given that I will not be doing that much damage, given that I can't upgrade the seal, that's probably helpful. Okay, so, but we need some better fashion. And I think there is a place where I can go. Uh, okay, uh, I think it's here. Hold on, I have to very quickly look it up just to be sure. Hold on a second. I think it's here. Hold on. Yeah, I think... Okay. I hope the wiki is actually correct about this. 
Okay, so we actually have to go to a bit of an unconventional, uh, unconventional place. Because there aren't that many blue sets in the game, but there is a specific one that you normally have to spend a lot of time farming for, but there is an alternative way. Not the most pleasant way and a bit of an unconventional way. But there is an, uh, but there is an alternative way. Unfortunately, we have to get through this, uh, this cave, and the problem is I don't actually know this cave. I know there's a Bloodhound Knight at the bottom. But getting to the bottom, that is a bit of an issue, I think. <laughs> well, at least I have... Well, oh, uh, by the way, I am constantly using the Ash of War. It's not part of the rules that I have to use the Ash of War. It's just that that does the mo most damage. But given that I'm playing without any upgrades, I'm not limiting myself to only using the Ash of War. But I will use that for the most part because it's just the better attack, basically. Oh, whoa, 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 Ah, that was, uh, yeah, getting to the bottom uh, yeah, easily, yeah, yeah, but staying alive. <laughs> getting to the bottom is easy, just ask my self-esteem. Okay, yeah, that, uh, uh, okay, point taken. Okay, can survive this. Because I never really uh, go into basically any cave, to be honest. But especially not this one. So I'm not completely sure where I even need to go. Is that like a... No, there's nothing. I thought that was maybe an illusory wall or something. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm not even sure if there's a stake of America at the bottom, so... Uh, I cannot survive. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not where the boss is. <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought I already was where the boss is. As I said, I'm not very familiar with this cave. Of course, I should, even if I do regular attacks, I should at least first buff it. But otherwise, I'm not even attacking with the actual ice lining. So. I think this is where the boss is done. Well, it looks cool, but <laughs> I almost get killed in the process. No, I'm in the healing animation! Better said I got actually got roll cut, but Whoa! Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. Well then let's finish it in the fancy way. Very nice. But of course that's not uh I wasn't of course not referring to the Bloodhound Knight set anyway. By the way, you don't get it here. But there's a... Uh... There is a specific blue outfit that you normally have to farm for, but from but at least if the wiki is correct, there's an alternative way to get that armor set. Very flashy finish, exactly. And by the way, how hello, you are correct. Well, I might as well level up first, by the way. Uh Faith. So, yeah, maybe you guys have to watch away from the, the screen again, because uh, another NPC is going to uh, teleport. What do you, want? you see, because that's a nice blue set, and there aren't that many blue sets in the game, so... I thought, hey, this is a pretty good... Uh, that's a pretty good uh, set to wear. And from what I understand, if uh, Latana teleports... She drops the entire set. So... I guess... Um, I guess I got a sweet dose of murder uh, for her.
So she just teleported away to um, New Game Plus again. So you see, she actually drops the entire set because normally you have to uh, do a lot of farming in order to get that set. One downside is that I don't have anything to wear on my hat because this kind of looks stupid, I think. But I normally should wear the, you know, the, the Commodore headband, but I cannot just give it myself because I'm on PS5 now and not on, P uh, on PC. So that kind of sucks. And the cape is a little stupid, I guess. Alter garments. Well, other than the, the weird uh, little hood uh, I'm wearing, I think this is a pretty nice set uh, to wear for this uh, playthrough. We don't really have proper lighting here, but... I think this is a pretty ni a nice outfit. Unfortunately, I will have to actually farm for the Kamala's headband just to have something on my hat. But that's fine. Well, actually, we have to go through uh, the castle now anyway, so maybe we get really lucky. Oh, yeah, yes, uh, you're correct. Yes, I was uh, quite stressed. Uh, that's definitely the case. And I'm almost done now, so that's uh, that's a good thing. I really hope that nothing uh, has to be uh, like done over or whatever, that, uh, that there's still something wrong with, uh, with them, because I had a lot of technical issues along the way. So, let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best. Okay. Let's go to the castle, because uh, I think... Um, yeah, let me think. So, in order to get to the Lake of Rod, we have to do Kwani's, Irani's questline. And we have to go uh, past, you know, past Rodan. Well, we don't have to do Rani's questline, but we are going to do Rani's questline. And so, Ranala is not really going to be that relevant. But we have to kill, of course, another shard bear, and that is obviously going to be uh, Godric. So that's going to be the next one. Press, you need to play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Name rings a bell, but... No, I'm not really... Not really sure about that. Hey, she did teleport not even a body left behind. Yeah, that's a good point. There was no body, so hey. There was no murder. If there's no body, there's no, mur no murder. A little bit of wisdom for the uh, for for the kids was watching. If they can't find a body, there is no mur murder. Some wisdom there. And speaking of murder, uh, I think we should get rid of Gostak, otherwise he's going to lock us in with that stupid knight. Yeah, I'm coming over here. No problem. No problem. Of course, I'm coming over here, holding uh, a white lightning attack. <laughs> I should have some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh sound clips. <laughs> White lightning attack! You know, blue eyes. Hey, I'm out. Why is Gustak so powerful for a fucking NPC? By the way, speaking of um, interrupting attacks, how many? How much poison does this have? 30. Huh? It's actually not a lot. You know what, what's, what's kind of weird? The regular knight set that you can buy in, uh, in the round table hold is actually one of the best... Armor sets you can wear for poise because the entire set has 51 poise, which is basically uh, the only one of only two breaking points for poise that actually matter. And most other sets don't even get you to that point, so. Kind of surprising. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is a nice armor set, absolutely. Tattoo day and a press continue stream. Best day ever. You got a ta uh, tattoo, uh, Justin? A tattoo of what specifically? Isn't Melania considered a poopa? Absolutely. In a flower form, that's basically a poopa. Now the worst enemies in the game. I, I guess do uh, birds are basically like flying dogs in forms of our games. The Warhawk Talon is kind of a fancy looking uh, straight sword, by the way. Pannekoek 2012! The legendary guy that nobody knows how to, uh, how to uh, properly uh, pronounce his name. Everyone says like uh, Pan and Coke or something. Pannekoek! Pannekoek 2012! Yeah. Legendary guy. Legendary guy.
In de DLC teaser they looked uh, to be a variant of Heaven's Armor. I don't specifically remember that, but I uh, wouldn't be surprised. Nu heb ik zin in een pannenkoek met spek. Ik snap wat je bedoelt, Jekker. Alright, so we... Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, I have enough for another level. Uh, oh, I don't. Actually, I have a whole bunch of runes that I haven't used, but yeah. We don't want to get too overpowered, right? You know, with our uh, plus zero weapons. <coughs> okay. But we have to work to uh, 34 faith. Also, I should actually at some point uh, get uh, the crystal TR to boost lightning damage. From the avatar in Leonia. One of two avatars. Also, I have to level up my FP quite a bit, want uh, they, they, it uses a lot of FP, this attack. Because basically, first the buff uses FP, and then also... And then also uh, the actual slash itself, so... Ah, whoa, 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 don't kill me, please. Ah, but... That wasn't Dutch, by the way. That was just me panicking. So, it would really be helpful if these guys just drop the Commodore's headband, but they probably won't. Because you do take extra damage if you don't wear anything in one of your armor slots. But of course, they don't want to drop it. That's a shame. Kind of weird how you can sneak up behind them. Like you, you can, <laughs> you even with a torch, it's like oh, oh, nothing is happening here. It's like should be a little obvious that some uh, someone is behind you, uh, Mister Banish Knight. I think that's a Banish Knight, right? Well, okay, then let's banish him to the Shadow Realm with a white lightning attack. Very nice. Which is kind of weird that attacks have names in Yu-Gi-Oh, given that. You can only just do one attack, because it doesn't really matter what the monster does, it's just based on points. But, whatever. Oh, I don't actually need this. <laughs> the knight is waiting for Gostak's signal and he doesn't know what to do without it, yeah. Makes sense. Sort of. <laughs> when someone shows lightning, I just uh, think about happy souls. That's also a good point. Yeah, he died and not teleported because the body remained. Hey, a very good point. You see, I haven't murdered uh, Alexander and Lutana. I would never. Let's kill these as well, because maybe I get lucky. Yeah, I got it. I actually got it. I don't have to farm for it. Oh. Of course, it visually makes hardly any difference whatsoever, but hey. Now I'm at least uh, wearing a full armor set. Very nice. Well, that's very lucky. Hopefully that sets the tone for the rest of the run, because it would be uh, pretty helpful if I would get uh, very lucky this entire playthrough. Since I'm a bit pressed for time, and I'm already pressed continue, so yeah. You know how it is. That reminds me more of Pokemon than Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, that's if you use Spirit Ashes. That's, then you basically turn this game into a Pokemon game. Uh, the buff lasts 45 seconds, I think. I'm not sure actually, but uh, I think that's correct. I was thinking, there's, I think there's a, is, is the God Slayer seal not here? I don't think it even matters that much uh, where you don't upgrade it anyway. So I only think that, I, uh, only think that the Gravel Stone is going to make uh, a difference because you simply get a 10% damage boost when uh, using this spell. 
But we can only acquire that one in the capital. The Carrion Knight set is a pretty nice looking uh, set, I would uh, agree with that. Those dogs are less nice looking. First of all, because they're dogs, and secondly, because they're rotting away. And killing me. I would really like to just quickly go through here. <laughs> Crimson light. Oh, yeah, I, that I don't really know about. But yeah, red, red lightning looks very fancy, I think, in this game. Kind of interesting that that does not have a specific attribute or something. Would be interesting if all three uh, colors uh, of lightning had their different properties. You know, just yellow lightning would just be regular lightning. The white one inflicts frostbite and the red one does something else. I don't know what, but... Would have been interesting. I mean, you have fire in this game that inflicts uh, bleed damage after all. Well, <laughs> you can't have fire that also inflicts frostbite. That would be... That would be quite interesting. Frost fire. And then when you proc the frost effect, then it immediately resets. If you're high enough, thorns look like night lightning. Well, I'm not that high. Yet. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, ghost flame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ghost flame. Yeah, yeah, you got a point there. But th yeah, of course, then the flame does magic damage. Yeah. But you actually have a point there. Ghost flame is basically frost fire. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't have shoes in this outfit, which is kind of weird. But, you know, that's what you, you guys like. Here, guys, bare feet. There you go. <laughs> hey, you're correct. Thank you so much. Donation. Would you consider no block parry roll ring challenge when the Souls game, especially DS1? So if, uh, that's more the kind of stuff I used to be in, but to be honest, those kind of videos don't tend to really do well for, for, for when it comes to what people want to watch. It's an interesting type of challenge because it's, uh, of course, a very difficult uh, kind of challenge. It's not really uh, the thing that, uh, for some reason, that people tend to be very interested in. In fact, even in this game, when I did R1 New Game Plus 7, I did that more for myself, more so to, uh, between quotes, than uh, when it comes to views, because those those kind of challenges don't tend uh, to be uh, things that people are most interested in. People like to uh, uh, to see... Uh, Play for that where the it, the gameplay is changed, changed up, which actually would apply to no rolling. But then you can do basically any type of no rolling uh, challenge. I mean, um, the no stamina run in DS3 was a good example of that, which is one of the few videos uh, that actually did well uh, last year. Which is kind of weird because the DLC one didn't. Well, whatever. But that was an uh, that was quite an. Uh, that was quite uh, a type of playful where <laughs> you couldn't avoid, not just by no rolling, but you couldn't even run in that uh, playthrough. So, yeah, I uh, definitely was more into those kind of playthroughs a few years back. Would I ever do that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe no rolling would be part of something. Like, like I said, when you do a no stamina run, then automatically no rolling is part of it. And blocking and parrying you hardly ever do to begin with. So, who knows? Who knows? But uh, thank you very much for uh, the donation. Uh, you're correct. I really appreciate that. And speaking of rolling, by the way, because Godric rolls quite a bit. And he's never going to give us up. And he's never going to let us down. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's. <laughs> but then you name someone, <laughs> Matt. Gino is one of the best uh, Souls players in the world, I would say. But he's also a very likable guy, so that uh, that's a very nice uh, combination.
And I am the lord of all that is cold and bold. Okay, I don't really know what to do with that. But oh, whatever. Uh, we're just going to defeat uh, Godric. Again, this is at plus zero. That's definitely... Quite a bit of damage for an unupgraded weapon. And then, of course, if you add Frostbite to it... And I can actually attack from a distance, so that's uh, also very nice. Oh, I'm out of FP. Ah, that's fine. He's going to. He's transitioning anyway. Hey, JB. Thank you for extending your membership. Oh, 22 months already. What games are you thinking about playing? Uh, well, definitely Stellar Blade. That's what I'm going to be playing two weeks from now when it releases. I really hope that's going to... Uh, Bring some uh, new uh, new people to the channel. Don't know yet, of course, if that's going to happen. And it's going to be <laughs> largely up to the YouTube algorithm, but the, which is very much against me, as you all know. But let's hope for the best. Would be nice, because I think that game is going to be quite popular. So hopefully it will bring some new uh, new faces to the... New faces to the, to, to the channel. Before uh, the release of the Eldering DLC, which of course will be the full focus when that releases, obviously. Oh, hey, Unchosen on that. Thank you for uh, for the donation for a beer. <laughs> Thank you very much. I should crack open a beer later on uh, this evening, by the way. So when he is just doing a combo from, uh, I can just do. This from a distance is pretty. Oh, whoa, 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 but he can also do. Oh, the fire that has more range. It's more range than I have. Fuck alicious. Yeah, you never underest uh, over, uh, of underestimate that attack because <laughs> that goes farther than you think. Uh oh. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Unfortunately, because my frozen lightning spear goes so far. Oh, whoa. I was speaking <laughs> about the frozen lightning spear, but. My other attack also missed for whatever reason. But if you do it from a close up, then it tends to just go through the boss, which is a bit <laughs> peculiar, but it's kind of how it works out. But hey, even if you don't get the full hit, it looks fancy as fuck, if you ask me. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, wait, yeah, I, I'm almost dead, but I didn't have FP. Ah. And I don't have any flask level, and I do just like this. <laughs> Damn it, I wanted to finish it very fancy with the frozen lightning uh, spear. But it does, he just survived with a little bit left. Son of a biscuit. Okay, well, at least that was Godric. But yeah, as you can see, for an unupgraded weapon, ice lightning weapons are very decent. Very decent indeed. Almost died to Godric. That wouldn't be so graceful. No, that, that, that wouldn't be. Definitely wouldn't be. A cold one for a cold challenge. Exactly. Yeah, fun Polish. And <laughs> what's your favorite alcohol? Yeah, I guess raspberry wine. Oh, one more level. Well, actually, if we simply go and uh, defeat the Earth Tree Avatar um, here, so that we can get... Because then not only do we have enough levels so that we can use uh, the Frozen Lightning Spear without the Faith Tier, but it also allows us to get uh, a replacement tier, namely the one that boosts lightning damage. So that's uh, very helpful. However, I think Vike is actually still going to invade us because I didn't kill him when he got when I got here. What is that red bar of yours? What do you mean my health bar? <laughs> it's uh it's not that relevant. You mean I should level up my HP? Well that uh not yet. Not yet. 
Yeah, you see Vike is going to invade us. Ah, fuck it. We'll just uh, fight with Vike. Dragon Bolt versus... Well, actually also Dragon Bolt, but then... The red versus blue. Well, actually he doesn't use his, uh, he doesn't use any uh, dragon incantations here. It's only in the Everjill. Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, oh, holy crap, delicious. Oh, I poised through that? That couldn't be just from poise. So basically at the very end I have... Hi, whoa, 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 but not from madness. Whoa, whoa, madness. Madness. Nothing's changing. It's always been this way. Assuming madness. Madness. He <laughs> avoided it. Well, he was the tarnish that was closest to becoming Elden Lord. And he's clearly more worthy than I am. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't have a P. That's uh, now Now I died mad about it. Oh. Yeah, I guess he should be Elden Lord rather than me. Son of a biscuit. So Alex, what did you say about that red bar of mine? <laughs> Maybe we can just avoid the uh, Vike, I actually don't know. No, I think you can't. Even if you go all the way past the side here. I think he's getting revenge from when I knocked him off here in the, uh, you know, at the start of the Vike run. So I think he's pissed off about that. And to be honest, I can't really blame him. But yeah, I should definitely focus up on uh, focus on leveling mind as well because I'm using so much FP. Oh, there he uses the my frozen lightning spear misses half the <laughs> half the attack. Ah, well, well, holy crap! Delicious, fuck, delicious, fuck me. Ah, I'm stuck behind the fucking rock. I'm already out of FP. Well, according to Rusty, uh, Vice War Spear is the best weapon in the game for whatever reason, so I guess uh, this is what I should have expected. <laughs> Battle of the RGB lights. Yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not going to knock him off again. <laughs> no, it's not R01 and I'm still dying this much. <laughs> I'm even more rusty than Rusty himself. <laughs> rusty will never live that down, no. <laughs> no, he will not. I mean, he had to be uh, trolling when he said that, come on. I can't imagine him being actually serious about that. He was trying to get a reaction out of people. Okay, that's better. Is he immune to frostbite, by the way? I think he is. But he doesn't have infinite poise. That's better. Here. Now you can die mad about it. Madness. Madness. You know that it is madness. Madness. To be honest, that's one of my favorite, uh, favorite intros. I think that one turned out very well. Oh, by the way, let's reset before taking on the Earth Tree Avatar. Base Vigor with the source seals a recipe for de death disaster. Yeah, my uh, defenses are not that high. And my Vigor is rather low. Still, this this armor set is not, not that poor. I mean, 12 physical. 
Mostly magic defense. Makes sense. It's always a gamble whether uh, Torrent succumbs to gravity. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You see? I actually took damage there. All of a sudden. Um, but where exactly is the... Oh. The Earth Tree Avatar is at the minor Earth Tree, obviously. I took the wrong... <laughs> I took the wrong turn. Son of a bitch. Now I'm in the Frenzy Flame Village. There we have Sauron. And no Frodo here to help us. Or better said, Samwise. Because he was the true hero of the story in a sense. If you ask me. Uh, how, what's the best, the fastest way to get there? The safest way. Maybe that's the better thing to ask. Well, that not that. Because I still took fall damage. Okay, this should work out. The problem is there are other enemies around I have to avoid. Frodo carried the ring, but Sam carried the whole team. Yes. I mean, it's pretty epic scene when uh, Sam says, I can't carry you, oh, but I, I can't carry it for you, but I can't, but I can carry you. A hero indeed. Fortunately, Earth Tree Avatar are not immune to Frostbite. They are weaker to... Oh, whoa. They are weaker to fire than to lightning, that's for sure. Oh, whoa. And they... Uh, and I'm weak to feet, apparently. And I'm also weak to getting a staff <laughs> right on my fucking face. Okay. Yeah, at some point I maybe should level up Vigor. Maybe. Would maybe be helpful. I'm weak to feed. No, I didn't say that, uh, Crazy Kira. Forget, forget that I uh, halfway implied that. No, 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 Baron, no, Baron, no, don't take it out of context. That's out of context, out of context, out of context. That's out of context. Maybe I just should take things a little slower. Rather than just trying to power my way through. I mean, after all... Whoa, whoa. My damage should be sufficient. I shouldn't have healed. Come on. I'm really rusty, am I not? Jesus. If I even die against fucking Earth Tree Avatars. Yo, know, that is the... It is a bit of the paradox of being a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> you, you play less games than you think you would. When it becomes your job, you suddenly play less. That's weird, right? Makes the, makes no sense when you say it like that. But it is actually true. <laughs> I mean, Baron can attest to that as well, I think. Yeah, the, the one downside of spinning slashes is that I thought it did uh, a decent amount of poise damage, but apparently it doesn't. Uh-oh. Golden Land is another Ash of War that is very powerful when the enemy uses it, but when you use it, it's just very meh. But at least we can buffer lightning now. Alright then.
And this should give us enough for one extra level so that we at least uh, have enough that we don't need the faith tier anymore. Oh, actually I don't. Actually I'm holding on a, a whole bunch of runes, so fuck it. Yes, I actually managed to defeat the Asylum Demon. <laughs> Alright then. So, what is going to be our next goal? Well, first of all, let's immediately apply that tier to our Physic Flask. I guess the Faith tier is actually still somewhat helpful, but then again... Oh, th this is not Stamina Regen, that's only in Altus Plateau. In that case, let's just use the Lightning one and the Faith one. Okay, very good. So, what is next? Well, if we want to get to the Lake of Rot, we have to get past Radon. However, the Radon Festival hasn't started yet, because I haven't been to Elders Plateau yet. But I guess I should, could also just simply first get started with Ronnie's questline, get past Loretta. And then Radon, and then we'll just save Altus for... Yeah, well, let's just, uh, I mean, after all, the Lake of Rot is down here. So let's do first do this part of the of the game. And then we'll just continue after we acquire the Dragon Skill Blade. So that means we're going to uh, Karia Manor. Hey, Alex. Thank you for becoming a channel member. I appreciate that. Can you respec in this game? Yes, you can. But uh, I will not be able to do that unless I go and defeat... Uh, Renala, but she's actually not necessary for this playthrough. Um, yeah, and only after we're done, I got another talisman slot. That's also in the Altus Plateau, by the way, where you get the Lightning Sc Scorpion charm. Well, oh, whatever. We'll see uh, how we're going to do this. Uh, I actually already have Flame uh, Flame Cleanse me, and yeah, I will need that too of oh, whoa, 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 to avoid rot. Well, you cannot avoid magic rain with that. If only I could use this attack uh, in the back when I did my uh, rain only uh, playthrough. <laughs> Too bad that doesn't exist as an actual spell in the game. Will this be an all boss run or just a sensual? I never do all boss to be honest. But uh, I'm quite pressed for time so we'll basically do just the essentials and we'll see what if we have time to do uh, some other things. Pretty much, it, it is pretty much mandatory to include Melania, I would say, at least. But other than that, we'll, yeah, we'll do Ronnie's questline, so that, uh, that that's some optional content as well. But for example, in the fourth sex or whatever, no, that's not going to happen. And now my stream got demonetized, because when, I, when you say fourth sex, well... You say sex, and then you get demonetized. <laughs> I mean, would you be surprised? Well, whoa, holy crap. Hey, what the hell? I'm stuck in the spellbinding circle. Another Yu-Gi-Oh reference. And then I got my ass handed. Which is not really a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, but you know. It's more of a personal thing. <laughs> so you can't talk about sex. It's a strong saxophones in Italian. Do chat messages have any effect on monetization? Uh, not that I know of, at least. But <laughs> let's not take any chances. <laughs> Someone quick use Pot of Greed, but what the hell does Pot of Greed even do? Because I don't know. <laughs> These enemies are called finger creepers, yeah. They're, they're creeps with their fingers, yes, definitely. That's why they try to grab your ass. A bunch of creeps. Actually, a benefit uh, of fighting the, the ghost version of Loretta, of course, the downside is that 
she cannot be inflicted with frostbite because it's a ghost version, but she's standing in water, which makes her more susceptible to lightning damage, so that's something at least. Oh, by the way, there's not a golden seed here. Shouldn't forget to pick that one up. How many do I even have at the moment? Oh, only two, that's not enough. You know, it's a shame that a lot of, of the most good looking weapons, at least according to my taste, are kind of underwhelming in this game. For example, the Troll Knight Sword is definitely one of my favorite looking weapons in the game. But it's pretty underwhelming. It's basically... It does have the benefit of the same moveset as the Zweihander, but you're basically better off just using the Zweihander. But it looks so fancy. It's a shame. Definitely a shame. Ah, I don't have a parry shield. I'm pretty uh, used to parrying Loretta, even though you can't repose her, but still. Ah! <laughs> oh, it, it still hit. It still hit. Wow, you can see the benefit of the of the water. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, wait, what the hell? I attacked the wrong side. Well, that's not good. Oh, now she's out of the water, by the way. Oh. Okay, back into the water. Go back down into the water. What motivation lies beneath? I'm literally singing one of my own songs, by the way. Although I don't sing. And that's a good thing, because <laughs> I shouldn't sing in the band. Come on, back into the water, uh, Loretta. It doesn't conduct ice, because water is ice, but, whoa, it does conduct electricity. Album preview, yeah, exactly. Damn, I'm already out of my, uh... Fuck, now I technically don't have any ice lightning. <laughs> because I'm out of FP. Well, that's, that's kind of lame. So, is this against the rules? I don't even know. <laughs> I can't, uh, can't really decide that. Because technically... Mm, I don't know. Because in and of itself, this weapon doesn't do any lightning damage. Well, it's, I don't know, it's a bit weird to have a rule against running out of FP, but I, I don't know, it's a bit lame to uh, defeat Loretta without actually using Ice Lightning. So, let's reset. <laughs> yeah, that's, I haven't even thought about that. Is that... Should I even have that as a rule that I have to have... Have to have FP? I don't even know, actually. <laughs> Well, to be honest, Amazing Red is a lot of time when, I, uh, when I'm reading the chat that does distract me and gets me killed. It has happened quite a bit. <laughs> Remember in the, in the Artorias run where I lost my valuable humanity because I fell off a cliff because I was looking at... Uh, because I was looking at the stream chat and I lost my valuable humanity. Yeah, I think FP meant... Yeah, there's, there's at least a point there. Well, we're not going to do it that strictly that if you hit... Uh, an enemy right after your buff runs out that that doesn't care uh, that that is against the rules that would be ridiculous but at least have the buff active as much as possible 
Unfortunately, I only have two uh, flasks at the moment, so maybe I should go back to the... Back to the grace and have, uh, let's get some more FP because I'm using so much of it. But yeah, in an ice lightning run and then attacking without ice lightning, I don't know, that's a bit... Feels a bit weird. Oh, by the way, another example of a very fancy looking weapon in this game, that I, at least in my opinion, that is completely underwhelming, is the, uh, the Crystal Spear. Crystal Spear looks very nice for a spear. But it's basically outclassed by any other spear in the game. And specifically the Clayman Harpoon. That is basically just the same thing but <laughs> better in every conceivable way. I actually missed my first attack. Very helpful. It definitely looks very fancy in the water, and the damage difference is... Is it like 15% or something? I don't exactly remember the difference that water makes to lightning. I think it's 15%. So that is still quite significant. Yeah, fuck. But missing is something that's going to happen a lot, I think, in this playthrough. <laughs> Jesus, I'm missing all my attacks. I don't want to run out of FP again simply from missing all my attacks. Oh, whoa, and I got Loretta slashed. Fuck. <laughs> Well, the Rotten Crystal Spear at least has the benefit of uh, playing Rot, and there aren't, aren't that many weapons in the game that does that. That's true. Hey, Lucas. How are you doing? Bit of a shame that she immediately runs out of the water, basically. Well, she was on the edge. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh! I die in two hits, so <laughs> that's not good. Oh fuck, whoa, that was not good. Okay, now careful for the projectiles. Oh. <laughs> careful of the projectiles, get hit by a projectile. Oh fuck. Ooh! Well, I didn't die in two hits at least, so that's something. Quick, 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 quick. Fuck. Whoa. Don't panic roll. Whoa, what the hell? The fuck, delicious! I'm dying so much in this playthrough, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> this is not good. 
Yeah, that's our next goal, uh, hybrid. Uh, but we have to get to the Lake of Rod for that. So that's why we're, why we're going to do uh, Randy's questline. Fuck. Nice roll catch there. Maybe I'm better off just getting some actual stab attacks in. Up, oh, projectiles. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm out of FP. Also, I forgot to use my physics flash. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Let's not die from trying to enter too fancy, but I do want to enter fancy. Throw end it fancy. And I do enter fancy. And I even dodge all the projectors at the end. And the red is down. Yeah. All right. Ah, at least a victory. I'm dying so much already in this playthrough. It's not uh, not looking well. It's definitely not looking well. Okay, so faith is uh, high enough already. Um, I definitely need more mind. I definitely need more mind because I'm using so much FP in this uh, with these attacks. <laughs> Maybe Vigor, yeah, that's also a good point. At some point I need to focus on Vigor as well. Also, I don't exactly know how much dexterity the Dragon Skill Blade needs. Of course, it's going to take a while before we actually can acquire it. But I shouldn't neglect that either. Yeah, don't need uh, HP if you don't get hit, that's true. <laughs> but you do need it if you get hit constantly. This is where weird that you can actually <laughs> ride torrent indoors here. Might as well do it everywhere then, if you ask me. Well, there is of course the ride anywhere mod, so... Dragon skill bait is 20 dexterity. Oh, that's quite a lot. But of course by then... Uh We're quite a few levels higher anyway. I mean, uh, we need to get past we're done. Unfortunately, if uh, Loretta's already giving me issue, <laughs> I'm not very good at Redan, as you guys know. A tarnished here. Yeah. Thou must have some business in mind to 
come all this way. Yeah. Though I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No. No reason in particular thou claimest. In you don't need a reason to get to, uh, to go to Rani. Perhaps fate hath steered thee to this encounter. Mm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. It's quite interesting that they put only waifu into this game. Very, uh, very surprising. But hey, they also put, uh, um, uh, let me solo her in the, into the game. So hey, makes sense, right? Yeah, okay, let's just uh, quickly get through it because we have to get uh, to Radon. Although I don't know, uh, how do you even trigger the Radon festival without going to Altus Plateau? Or we can simply go to Altus Plateau and then uh, we actually can acquire some helpful stuff there if we want to. It's surprised that she doesn't die for once. Well, in a sense. In a sense, she does. She, uh, well, she first of all, she already died in the sense that she abandoned her own bo own uh, body. I mean, her real body is on top of the the uh, this tower here, after all. <laughs> Only wife who was streaming PvP yesterday, and the amount of people acting salty that he wasn't actually a runny AI voice was hilarious. Yeah, I don't think you can uh, make uh, use of that during a live stream. So yeah, that kind of breaks the immersion, right? Oh, have a nice meal, uh, Crazy Akira. And thank you for being here. He's, I think Sullivan is just doing a Big Hat Logan uh, uh, cosplay or something. Bit of a knockoff. Okay, well, quickly go back to Ronnie. Alright, blah 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 blah. Sorry, Rani, but you're taking a little bit too much time. By the way, is it just me or is it like she's sitting way too high up on that chair? I kind of, it's like she's she's sitting on something that's on top of the chair. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking too deep into this, but. It kind of looks off the way she's sitting. She's sitting on a pile of books to look taller. Well, you can't, you can't actually see what. Uh, I'm not trying to look under a dress. Okay, uh, YouTube. She. I'm not trying to look under a dress. I want to know what she's sitting on. I'm not trying to look under a dress. That's not the. That's not the point here. What is she sitting on? Well, you can't see what she's sitting on. But it's almost like she's hovering above the seat. Well, if you look like here, yeah, I don't know. It is like she is sitting on something, but it's not really clear. Yeah, you say she has books on her, but how do you see that? I don't see any books. <laughs> Maybe she has a second butt on her butt. Got a point there. Perhaps so. She just has a big ass. I suppose so. Um, yeah, the Redan Festival isn't started yet, I think, so... Well, let's take a look. Maybe this. Oh, after she leaves the chair, you can see the books. So she's literally... Oh, no. Do you see? It's not active. 
So, that makes me wonder, how do you actually activate the Radan Festival without going to Aldous Plateau? Because I think there is a way to do that without going to Aldous Plateau first. Well, regardless, we can just go and collect some stuff then. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Of course, we don't have the ability yet to even use the lightning ch uh, scorpion charm. <laughs> By the way, that will lower my defenses even more. So, it's also not very helpful. But after we're done, we get uh, a new talisman slot at least. Oh, talk to Blight and Siofra. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll just do it the easy way then. Well, there aren't really any specific rules, Astron. It's just we're using uh, the Ice Lightning weapons. And, well, there are only two of them. <laughs> and the uh, Ice Lightning spell is only one of them. We're, and uh, we can't upgrade. Uh, so with a bit of plus zero zeal, uh, seal and plus zero helmet. And while well, we don't have the katana yet, that's in the Lake of Wrath. But that's basically what it comes down to. Is <laughs> it the easy way or the EG way? Mm. Easy way. I'm not sure if I've even ever done the uh, Salon's uh, questline. I <laughs> wish they had a lake of pot. Hey, maybe in the... Maybe in the DLC. I mean, in the DLC we're going to get ginormous firebombs after all. And then uh, Backlogs will truly have no excuse left to not play this game. <laughs> Angie, yeah. <laughs> Any egg boy. Oh, there are actually also, also some more golden seeds uh, for us to pick up here. <laughs> That's where Alexander teleports, exactly. He's uh, teleporting to the Lake of Pot. Uh, by the way, I don't think you can charge this, uh, the Frozen Lightning Spear, right? Otherwise, we <laughs> well, not that I'm very excited to fight Goat Froy. I mean... Go <laughs> that, that fight just messes with me on a, on a spiritual level. Goat Freud literally is a boss in this game that just should not have existed. It's just insulting. No, not specifically Ju uh, Julia, but I haven't leveled Vigor yet. And that has been quite noticeable because I'm playing like shit. Also, we need this grateful later because if I want to get the Langling Scorpion Charm, I think it's in the catacombs up there. But let's first uh, collect uh, gold, uh, the rest of the golden seeds here. And also, um, I should get the uh, the crystal tier that boosts your stamina recovery. Which is a lot better than just getting more stamina. So that, that would be a pretty good combination. The one that boosts lightning and the one that boosts your stamina recovery. I hope from Sopa doesn't give Armored Core the security treatment. Well, you mean like uh, not giving it any DLC? Uh, because I fear that Armored Core is not going to get a DLC. Interesting that you'd even mention, by the way, because uh, hardly anyone even mentions uh, Armored Core at this point. That's why I never did anything with it. Nobody really seems to care about the games that much. Are you allowed to use the gravel stone seal? Yes, but I cannot acquire it yet. It's uh, in the capital. So that's much later in the playthrough. But that will give the frozen lightning spear like a 10% damage boost, I think. So My 11-year-old son is about to uh, beat Sekiro. Ah. Well, at least he, uh, he's get, having a good uh, upbringing. Very important.
Oh, it just came up in your head when you uh, when I mentioned the uh, Elder Ring DLC. Yeah. Well, I never heard any talk about an Armored Core DLC, so I doubt it's uh, going to get uh, get it. And definitely the Souls community doesn't seem to care about uh, Armored Core. There was a little bit of hype for it uh, <coughs> right before the game releases, but it uh, very quickly died down after the game came out. Yeah, it is definitely a shame that Sekiro never got a DLC. Uh, <laughs> can I quickly shut that uh, Grace? Thank you very much. Yeah, it got... Uh, technically, Sekiro got a DLC, but that doesn't really count as a DLC if you ask me. A little bit of a more extensive update, but yeah. Yeah, or Demon Souls, yeah. I mean, with the remake, they had the perfect opportunity to actually fully complete that game and make a 6 art stone. In fact, I would even have accepted that as actual DLC. But yeah, From Software chose not to go that route. In fact, of course, From Software never even got really involved in that remake to begin with. It was all... Uh, Blue Point, and you can't expect Blue Point <laughs> to add the DLC, obviously. From Software themselves would have to uh, get included, have to, uh, yeah, have to get involved in that, but they never chose to do that. So that's a shame. That is definitely a shame. I guess I can understand it because the game is technically from 2009, so it's, it's an old game by now. Speak of which, uh, Dark Souls 1 is from 2011. It's also a pretty old game. But we still love it, right? Um, let's at least get the tier for stamina recovery. It's also n always nice to have. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Camrick. It's basically a no upgrades run bit uh, with only using the ice uh, lightning weapons. Well, there are only two of them. And there's only one spell. But they look pretty fancy. Of course, it's going to take a while before we can actually use the katana. Which is not even necessarily better, I think, than the dragon halberd, but still. We want to use all of them, because if you only have three... It would be kind of weird to uh, leave one out. Oh, by the way, where even is the crystal tier here? I think it's somewhere here. I think it's this one. No, that's not it. It's further back then? And also, this, this one won the poll. I yeah, was expecting more love to see for uh, people give more love to Goldbreaker, but that one lost the poll by quite a significant margin. Was not expecting that. That was actually my initial idea to do. But yeah, it got the least amount of votes. Surprisingly. I mean, that's a pretty cool looking uh, attack if you ask me as well. And there's... Oh, also not... Where the fuck is it? It's over here somewhere, right? But where is it then? I'm at the other side of Grace now. Am 
I going crazy? Where the hell is the crystal tear? I thought it was here, but now we have the other two. Huh? So there are four or five crystal tears here then? Where the fuck is it? That's very weird. Do you have any further plans for Lies of P? I had, but uh, yeah, that the, the hype for that game definitely has died down quite a lot. It will probably come back the moment uh, the DLC for that game comes out. I have no idea when that is, but the DLC has been announced quite a while back already, so that's something. Is it all the way back at the golems? I don't get it. I really thought it was over there, but apparently it isn't. No, it's not all the way over here. This is what the Draconic Tree Sentinel is. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, there, there, where <laughs> I picked it up, there is where it should be. What the fuck is this? This is bizarre. I mean, it's not a separate pickup or something, right? I literally thought it was this one. Okay, now I'm really confused. I don't think there's another tier pickup here then. Wait, huh? I am so confused. I don't get it. Then where the fuck is it? Okay, now I have no clue. This is really bizarre. <laughs> I, I, it's there. No, I can't find it. I don't get it. I literally thought it was that, that one. Okay, I'm I'm completely confused right now. I don't I don't have it yet, so No, it's not here. The windy one, this one. I know, I'm going to take a piss first then. This is really weird. <laughs>
All right, I'm back. Uh, and I appropriately cracked open a cold one. Unfortunately, it was foaming way too much, so most of it went on the fucking floor, so that's helpful. I guess it's appropriate that I'm uh, shocked and that my blood runs cold, because apparently <laughs> I just can't find the crystal tear here. This is like some weird Mandela effect or something. The stamina boosting tier. I honestly thought it was over here. So this is like some weird Mandela effect thing. By the way, I should actually pick up the map. Avatar and the Weeping Peninsula? No, that one drops uh, the shield tier and the uh, one that uh, regens your HP. I could have sworn that the stamina tier was over there. In Kaelid? No way. No, the, the first one you pick up is the one that gives you more stamina, and then in Altus Pateau, there's the one where that actually gives you stamina recovery. Oh, by the way, here's the other map. <laughs> you see, normally I don't have to... What? Kaelid? Okay, this is like some weird Mandela effect thing. <laughs> Yeah, here. This is where I thought the stamina boosting uh, tier was. But apparently it, it's not. The one that drops the fire. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, that... Uh, yeah. I don't know if my brain is rotting or a brain freeze or whatever it is. Uh, wow. The, no, the one near Garank is the one that gives uh, the one that uh, breaks poise easier and the one that boosts uh, consecutive attacks, right? Kaled, what the hell? I am really surprised. Well, anyway, then forget about that here then. In that case, then I'll guess we'll just pick up the shield tier on the HP uh, one because that one is easy to get because it's here in the Wheaton Peninsula. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, I don't want to uh, keep fighting Earth Tree Avatars after all. But at least now the Radan Festival is active, so that means we can go to Radan so, and die <laughs> a lot of more times there, obviously, because I suck at Radan for whatever reason. Hey, I, this is just my first drink! That's the worst thing, Putin. It's just the first drink. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting brain freeze or brain rot or whatever it is. And we're not even at the lake of rot yet. Oh, oops. One, two. Hey, I want to switch to my seal. That's actually not, a lot, not as much damage as you would expect from a weak enemy like this Earth Tree Avatar. It's a very fancy attack, and it's, it's a pretty decent attack. But it leaves you vulnerable and uses a shit ton of FP. But it does look cool. And there are certain attacks, I think, that... Uh, it's not much of a jump, but still... Given that you jump up in the air, some attacks will go under you, I think. Actually, I think the HP regen is also pretty nice. Or actually the combination is also good, but then I cannot, uh, I cannot um, also have the lightning tier. So yeah, you have to make choices after all. <laughs> Doing a chance one drunk is effective new strat. It's not new. It's not like I never drink on stream, right? <laughs> okay, let's uh, go towards Rodan then.
However, I'm not even sure if the Dragon Skill Blade is going to perform better than the Dragon Helmet. But it makes more sense in one hand, uh, if you ask me. <laughs> the Rodan Festival! By the way, I have some more... I do have some more tiers. Uh, uh, golden Seeds I had now, so I have... Let's make sure... I have enough FP. So, everyone is gathered for the Redan Festival. That's weird. Why... why Shouldn't uh, Alexander be here? That's weird. Very strange. You would expect him to uh, be here, but yeah. He probably has other things to do. Important pot business. At least Blythe is here. Blythe. Blythe. Yeah, maybe Alexander just got lost or he's just running late. Probably stuck in Guild Tunnel, huh? Makes sense. Chum, who are you calling a chum, you dick? Fuck you. Oh, yeah, oh, no, okay, I'm not playing anymore. He's calling me a chum. Son of a bitch. I'm not a chum. What an asshole. Radon Festival! To be honest, he looks more ent enthusiastic than I do, but that <laughs> makes sense because, as you know, I kind of suck against Radon. But hey, we can at least uh, use Torrent in, uh, in the fight to uh, jump over his uh, wave attack, which is pretty helpful. Because if you remember <laughs> all the way back when I did the moon run, where I tried to jump over that wave and I constantly jumped on top of the wave. Anyway, we'll just see what happens. At least we'll be looking fancy with our frozen lightning spear, so that's something. Also, I forgot to actually uh, change the crystal tear in my uh, flask, but whatever. Did that really just happen? First of all, I could simply have got on, gotten on Torrent, because it's not like pre-patched Radon where you basically had to avoid it like this. Did that really just happen? <laughs> that was the most unnecessary death ever. <laughs> okay, that, that, yeah, that was slightly unnecessary, I would say. That was slightly unnecessary. I sip. This is not pre patch for Don. I could simply get on Torrent. You see? Like that. Hey, pre patch for Don was like that. You couldn't avoid those arrows on Torrent. Because they just basically just merely homed in on you. Imagine all the sand being on your bare feet. Yeah. For some reason, this armor set doesn't have any uh, foot covering. <laughs> Why not simply say shoes? Why the hell do I say foot covering? Well, feet, uh, I mean, shoes are foot prisons after all. By the way, I shouldn't talk like that because then I just encourage all you feet lovers in the chat. Well, definitely doing good damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's doing battle damage. Whoa. Huh. He, uh, he's doing battle damage, I think. Uh, maybe I should have leveled up my figure a bit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You'd think this armor would do a bit more, but uh, yeah. I guess that's what happens when you don't have any foot covering. You see, because my feet are exposed... Therefore, I don't have any defenses. Jesus, fuck, dude. 
Wow. I mean, this gives you less defense, but also gives you more HP. But this doesn't do that. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, my Vicar got checked. Uh, and it failed to the check. He chopped off your toe. Yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, this is not going to be so bad. I was doing good damage, but... Apparently, uh... Especially over here, it, it, it heeft more, meer voet in aarde. Hey, if you guys want to learn some Dutch, then it should probably be something about feet, right? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Then that completely missed. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, oh, fuck, delicious. I saw it happening. I can't move. Well, really bad start. Holy fuck. Can you stop just hitting me constantly? Well, at least you got the frostbite there. Well, at least as far as the weapon art is concerned, one-handing or two-handing, I don't think makes a difference. So that's something. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's already... Shit, that's not good. That's not good. He has way too much health left for his uh, second phase. Okay, another frostbite, so that's good. Oh, whoa, he still hit me. Fuck me. <laughs> and again, a one shot. Jesus. Okay. I'm not passing the vicar check. That's, uh, that's for sure. Maybe I should have used uh, the shield tier. In fact, I can still do that. I have the shield here. Why am I not using it? <laughs> well, the thing is, Baron, that attack has a double hitbox. As he's attacking with both, both of his uh, swords. So that's quite a bit to iframe through. You can actually avoid it, I think, if you if you react in time. You can avoid it by simply uh, running to his, uh, to his left side. But... Of course, then you have to recognize that he does that attack in time. Otherwise, you won't have enough time to get to his side and before the attack hits. The festival begins again? <laughs> no, no need for figure, just level ADP. Allow me to I suppose so. Well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely glad I'm not fighting uh, pre-patch Radan. But on the other hand, lore-wise, it does make a lot more sense if Radan is way more powerful than uh, he is right now. Of course, he's already giving me enough trouble as it is. But lore-wise, given that they have the, this entire festival where warriors just join together as an as an army to in order to take Radan down, because no one has the ability to take him down. It kind of makes more sense that uh, Radan really is this opposing, imposing force that you hardly can take on by yourself. 
Yeah, uh, Alexander was running a bit late. He had a cracked pot. Or he was doing pot, also possible. I wish I was doing pot. Why not play Elder Ring 1.0? Well, Elder Ring 1.0 is a lot more different than how the game is now. Because that's a version of the game that basically no one played. There's a whole series on, uh, on YouTube that you can find all the differences between the earliest version of uh, Elder Ring. You know, back when your HP bar... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Still looked the way it did as in the network test. We had this enormous HP bar. Of course, the amounts were the same, but visually, there was quite a difference. Uh oh, same attack again. Well, there goes my crystal. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I saw it happen. This attack is too slow for that. <laughs> yeah, before they patched Rivers of Blood and Horfrost Stomp. Horfrost Stomp was such an extreme attack back in the day. I even uh, made this little video back in the day uh, for how to cheese the gods can do with Horfrost Stump. Which was very effective uh, back then. Yeah, and you could spam it like crazy. Flame of the Red Mains, yeah, rip, rip Flame of the Red Mains. Oh, 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 hello, he actually, he actually hit me. Oh, that actually didn't hit me. <laughs> Usually, that double hitbox also gets me. Oh, I actually got a poise break? That's pretty rare for, uh, against Rodan, because he has a shit ton of poise after all. Okay, that was a battle first phase, that's for sure. Maybe I should spam the weapon art a little less. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's also slow and uses a lot of FP. Oh. oh fuck, he roll cut me. That's not good. good. Oh whoa! Holy crap, that actually hit me. Oh double hitbox. That's the one. This time it did hit me. That's another double hitbox. As I said, I'm not good at Radon, uh, especially those two double hitboxes I just have trouble with. By the way, what is a consistent way to avoid that that specific double hitbox there, where he, uh, where he moves away from you? That double slash that he does and then uh, he comes riding towards you. Because I, I'm sure there is a, there's a consistent way to avoid that, but I'm actually not sure what that consistent way is. Oh, 
I wonder if light rolling would help. It probably would. I don't know. Okay, that's at least a good opening. Hey, oh. Oh, oh! He actually hit me! Fuck me, that goes my shield. That sucks. Uh oh, shit, not good. This is a bad position to be in. Yeah. Sucks if you lose your shield that early. Especially doing it, uh, such an unnecessary hit. But yeah, I'm definitely not playing Elden Ring enough because for some reason I <laughs> it feels like I'm less skilled at the game right now than I was like like a year ago or a year and a half ago or something. But to be honest, the Flame Dance video was definitely the first time where I uh, really noticed that views went down. So that's basically where I stopped playing Elden Ring. Because <laughs> it felt like people were getting burned out on Elden Ring or something. Or well, probably was just a coincidence or whatever reason it was. Uh, you don't have to remind me of that, Michael. No, 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 no. no. That's... You probably misremember. <laughs> Getting Elden Rusty. Yeah, exactly. Oh, whoa. Hey. Yeah, that... Come on. That was fucking lame. I was trying to use my f flask and I didn't use my flask. So therefore I was too late. No, very, very helpful. Oh, why well, am I even... Well, I guess it's a good thing that I do this run then now, because I uh, definitely would have to get some practice in before the DLC. <laughs> Oh, rune arcs. I only have one at the moment, so that's not helpful. What? What the hell? I actually got hit. Come on, better opener. Yeah, that's better. Fuck yeah, come on! Why was I stuck? Well, that was fucking lame. I literally got stuck against them. So, again, I lose my shield for. I got roll card. Again, I lose my shield for a completely stupid, unnecessary reason. Oh, the, has that never been patched, uh, Burgerworth?
I thought that was something from early uh, early on that you could ride away from him or something and then he would despawn or something. I know. Oh, you used it recently, okay. Does sound like something that would be patched, but yeah, okay, apparently not then. Oh, oh actually, Torrent got hit there. <laughs> huh? But I, my shield is gone. But Tor, huh? I don't even understand what happened there. That was really bizarre. Because I didn't lose lose any health. Okay, <laughs> that was really weird. Maybe if Torrent get hits, then your shield also breaks. Now I think uh, making Radan fall into the ocean was patched. I mean, I've never done that, so I don't know. Uh, he's not despawning. Oh, he is. He's still using his uh, bow. <laughs> he's shooting the wrong direction. Some village over there is getting fucked now. Well, he is coming towards me, so... Nice. All right. I still have my shield at least. That's something. I have enough FP, so let's refill. Okay, good. That's better. All right. Nice. Okay, that was actually <laughs> a fight that went well. <laughs> and about time for after like, what, 10 deaths or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> that makes your beer taste extra good. First try. <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. Radan learned gravity magic to bring seagulls to the ground and beat the hell out of them. Those fuckers deserve it. Fuck seagulls. Seagulls are trash. They should go and go extinct. I probably pissed off, uh, I don't know, a group like PETA or whatever by saying that, but yeah. Is that like a political party that's pro seagull extinction or something? All right. Hey, there's actually an item here. Well, 70,000 runes. That's the, oh, the Redan Spear. Is it just me or am I in a completely random place? When normally you would, end, uh, would uh, start... Near the grace. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe that's because I used that uh, skip. <laughs> Peter would agree and say fuck seagulls. Ah, good. What a sick way to fight. 
yeah. I guess a healthy way to fight is by using upgrades, rather. Or, well, actually, my damage output wasn't even the issue. It was just avoiding damage. That was the problem. Maybe it's not about upgrading my weapons. I should upgrade my skill level. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Or I should upgrade my vigor. Maybe that's a better idea. By the way, first let's pop the soul here. Uh, you know what? Also need more FP. Oh, 70-17. Very nice. Okay, then. So, now we can do Ronnie's questline by going to Nokron and get the Finger Slaying Blade. And then we can uh, make our way to the Lake of Rot. And then we can acquire our third and already final source of Gold Bolt. Peter usually ends up killing more animals, but they save. <laughs> okay. I can't say I really know much about Peter. Well, what I know about Peter is that he is the main character in Family Guy, but other than that, don't know that much about it. Yeah, Lake of Rod Kindred is probably going to suck. I assume that he is skilled quite a bit higher than the other... Uh, Drank in. And of course the rot is not very helpful. Uh, for fortunately I did pick up flame cleanse me. So I should equip that uh, later on. Because that helps with healing uh, the rot. After all I don't have any uh, boluses to uh, heal the rot. First of all I don't even know where you get those. Oh don't fall down please. Yeah, sleep. Definitely an underutilized uh, status effect in this game, if you ask me. They could have made it a lot better if that little stagger animation that a lot of enemies get, instead of, you know, actually falling to sleep, if that simply opens them up immediately for a critical attack. Otherwise, that little stagger just does nothing. It's hardly even useful. However, if that immediately opened it up for a critical attack, that at least would made it make it somewhat useful. <laughs> Sleep is also an underused status uh, effect in my real life. Yeah, I can relate. That makes sense, Baron. Oh. If sleep pods were a real thing, I'd be sad, yeah? That would be great. Sleep is a myth. <laughs> so, now we're actually having to, uh, have to uh, go and uh, fight myself. Also, I have to fight the Mimic tier. So, now we have Ice Lightning versus Ice Lightning. That will at least look epic. I assume. <laughs> Alexander loves to sleep. Now, hey. Alexander loves to sleep with a pot. I mean, uh, don't judge his sexuality after all. He sleeps with other pots. Also, if you use pot, then uh, you will sleep a lot better. At least you will be nice and relaxed. <laughs> when my mommy pot and a daddy pot fall in love. Oh, what a gorgeous looking enemy. Ah! Synchronized! Beautiful! 
That was very nice. Sorry, but you're not going... No one... No imitation can defeat the real Priscilla. Well, at least that will look very nice in the intro... Uh, in the intro segment. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Boss helps me fall asleep if that counts. That definitely counts. <laughs> that was very animated, definitely. Oh, I also shouldn't ne neglect to upgrade uh, my dexterity once I get... Uh, I, have, I was 20 dexterity, right? The Dragon Skill Blade. So let's make sure I don't neglect that. Because eventually I need to get rid of this one. Oh! By the way, let's go and collect our uh, talisman slot. Well, actually, I don't really have... Another talisman yet to put there. <laughs> oh, what? Nee, that's not, that's not that one. I thought well, it was the double damage one. Well, for now I can uh, wear the Cerulean one, but that hardly boosts your FP to begin with. Yeah, the Mimic tier doesn't have a lot of HP, uh, Baron. That's true. Well, I guess that mimics the player. I could go and collect the Lightning Scorpion Charm, but the problem is, since I still have Radicon's Sword Seal, that will lower my defenses even more. So, I'm not, so sh not sure if that's a good idea. But I also cannot really think of another good talisman at the moment. What would be another good talisman? Now, Ritual Sword is only when your HP is full. The Turtle Talisman, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't have the Green Burst uh, tier after all. <laughs> because uh, of the real Mandela effect that I'm still breaking my hat about, uh, over. But, yeah. Uh, the, spell, the Frozen Lightning Spear is, an, uh, is a faith uh, spell. It's an incantation. Yeah, exactly. The Total Talisman is pretty good as a placeholder. The Filigree... Oh, that's a good one. The Filigree Talisman from EG. That's a good one. Exactly. Oh, that's the wrong grace, I think. Yes, exactly. You're completely correct. Because my, my Ashes of War use so much FP. That's definitely a good one to have. Five thousand. Oh, well, well, hold on. Hey, hello. That's not what I want. All right, that's a good one to have. Because this one uses... Hold on. Seven, uh, 17 if you do the full thing. That's quite a bit. You see how much it is? It's still a lot, but hey, it's uh, it's a difference. Still pretty good. You could also get to the one... For oh, you mean uh, the Ritual uh, Sword Talisman. Yeah, but that only is when you have full... Uh yes, Lightning Scorpion Charm would, would be good, but it also lowers your defenses. So, uh, given that I'm also using Redigant Sword Seal, let's uh, wait a little bit. Spear, yeah... For the dragon helmet, but the, uh, if I use the katana, once I get it, that's no longer applicable, unfortunately. Anyway, we were getting the... 
Oh, that's the wrong grace. Damn it. First, let's go and collect uh, the finger slaying blade for Rani. But yeah, the spear talisman is, uh, is for the helmet. It's very good because it has stab attacks. And frost damage is arguably already one of the best uh, damage types in the game. Well, other than of course status effects like bleed and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, you yeah that's true. You still have to poke on the katana when you use the charge two attack. Yeah, that's true. But I am going to collect the lightning scorpion charm later on. But I think I'm better off doing that when I get a little higher level so that I can get rid of Radic and Source Hill. Otherwise my defense is going to be uh, way too low. I'm already dying very quickly, so... The running poke on the katana moveset is OP. It, I think that's specifically in PvP very helpful. Especially on the Nakakiba, which is basically this game's version of the washing pole. So that has an immense amount of reach. Well, one downside of course of the Dragon Skill Blade is that unlike almost every other katana in the game, it doesn't have innate bleed damage. In fact, it cannot do any bleed damage whatsoever. So even though it sounds good to have lightning and frost damage, on an Uchi Katana you could just uh, get uh, frost and bleed at the same time. Or have two katanas and have one with uh, lightning, one with frost, and then you have lightning, frost and bleed at the same time. Same applies to the Serpent Bone Blade. Which is still a pretty decent weapon by the way. I used that in the you know in the R01 Nuka Plus 7 run. But again, it's also one of those weapons that is cool in principle, but is basically completely outclassed by just the regular version of that weapon. The Uchi Katana, you can also just put double slash on. Of course you cannot put deadly poison on uh, any other weapon. Which is, well, to be fair, Deadly Poison is pretty good. It's like in between Poison and Rot, so. The Venomous Fang is a different story, by the way. Because if you infuse the Venomous Fang with Poison, since it inherently does Deadly Poison... It has a weird side effect that if you inflict uh, inflict someone with poison, you get the the, uh, the damage of deadly poison, but the duration of regular poison. So then you basically get hyper poison, and that is very good. In and of itself, it's already a pretty decent weapon, the venomous fang. Only for fashion it doesn't really work well, because it's like light green and, no and none of the green sets in this game have that same type of color. So that's kind of a, that's a bit of a missed uh, opportunity. I guess you can use the, uh, the Grave Warden uh, set, because that has uh, serpents. So it's at least uh, theme appropriate. <laughs> Don't say things like hyper poison, poison you give Miyazaki ideas. Hey, what else do you think rot is, basically? Or plague, all the way back in Demon's Souls. Aww, Rani is all tuckered out. She actually has her eye, eye, eye not her eyes, but her eye closed. Aww, look at that, she's all tuckered out. A little sleeping smurf. Oh, that is a furry? Oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> you can't roll when uh, dialogue is playing. Well, 
Well, I have a lantern if you... Well, you can't borrow it, but... Here. This will help you on the dark path. <laughs> the car in inverted statue. Well, I'm not going there. That's where that terrible uh, NPC is. I think also on my blind playthrough that NPC gave me immense amount of trouble. Immense amount of trouble. <laughs> Miriam, I think uh, that NPC is called. I mean, my blind playthrough is on my channel, so uh, not a lot of people have watched it, but uh, especially because it's so freaking long, it's like 66 hours, I think, or something. Um, oh, wait, we have now have to go to the other uh, tower. Yeah, it's an hourglass, basically, that's true. By the way, interesting detail. I think, hold on. Now you can't see it that well, but that that figure, yeah, it's it's upside down and a bit small. But that figure looks very much like the one of the figures that you see in the DLC trailer. So that's an interesting detail. You know that NPC that looks a little bit like Renala. It actually looks a lot like uh, the figure in that specific... Uh... Um, wait, I have to go into this tower now, right? Huh? Okay, now... Huh? Did I not exhaust the dialogue or something? Okay, now I'm not sure. <laughs> I thought I did, but apparently not. Because after giving her the finger slaying blade, then you have to uh, get it to the tower. Then the seal, seal is gone. Oh, she's gone now. And hey, you guys said that there were books here. But there's just, yeah, maybe there are, but I can't, still can't see them because there's a cloth on uh, top of it. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> and now I still can't see it because I destroyed. I just in annihilated, uh, annihilated them from existence. So I guess that will be a lore mystery that will never be truly answered. What the hell was Ronnie sitting on? I mean, what should be should uh, she be uh, sitting on other than my uh, face? So. Okay, I think now we can actually get into the tower then, but I don't know, maybe I just had to reload or something? I don't know. A booster seat, yeah, basically. I mean, she isn't that tall. Oh. Can't do that on an elevator. Kind of weird to have a grace there all of a sudden, given that the other one is so close by. It saves an elevator trip, that's something at least. By the way, question. Who in the chat here is also going to be playing Stellar Blade when, uh, when that game comes out? I know that a lot of people uh, in my community are not going to be able to play it because... It's a PS5 exclusive, so yeah, that uh, kind of limits the player base, unfortunately. Yeah, I see, now the seal's gone. You couldn't find the demo? It's just in the PlayStation Store, it's, it's still there. I already beat the demo, it's definitely worth the price tag. I agree, I, I, I'm quite excited for that game. Uh, I guess this, uh, well, actually the altered version would also kind of, kind of works for this, but nah. I like the chainmail uh, set, the blue chainmail set.
Well, we might as well do uh, Ronnie's entire quest line, I suppose. So, um, so let's pick up the doll. Oh, I want a miniature Ronnie. Isn't there uh, any sort of merchandise? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's go there has to be some sort of merchandise for that. Hey, Morpheus, how are you doing? Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Yeah, I'm quite dogged. I don't even know what dogged means, actually. I'm not a dogged contender. But I don't like dogs in this game, so... I guess it's an insult. Uh, yeah, a pocket Rani, exactly. You know, to cuddle with. By, by me? She's a little uh, domineering. I like it. Just on my computer for a bit as my girlfriend is doing something. You know, Motorfeast, since you have a girlfriend, you're not very active on this channel anymore, and that's not a good thing. How dare you choose your girlfriend over me? How could you? I thought we had something special. That makes me very sad. Holy crap, I'm go- oh, oh, this also makes me sad. Oh! Yo, Press, I did my first no hit run today. Oh, really? Uh, this game or not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I. <laughs> I'm doing an all hit run in this uh, game at the moment. But did you do it in this game or in one of the other games? Oh, you passed your driving test. Ah. Congratulations, Motorfest. You also have a job, that doesn't help. You have a job, you have a girlfriend. Motorfears, can you stop having a life? You're not allowed to have a life. How dare you have a life? We're on, we're on a gaming channel here. People don't have lives here. Shame on you, Motorfears. Shame on you. People having lives. Tss. Not on my gaming channel. <laughs> Terrible. How very dare. Next thing you're going to have like goals and uh, aspirations and that kind of stuff. Or standards. Or morals. I mean, where does it end? <sighs> this place is balls. There are a lot of balls in this game. You have balls as enemies, and you even have a, a you even have giant balls. I mean, balls the giant. Got savings and a pension? I really expected better of you, Motorfist. I really did. <laughs> I can make you a miniature Rani doll if you like, Press. <laughs> you could. By the way, what is this, uh, this thing? Kind of interesting that you can stance break uh, those dunk beetles. Oh, it's a summer smithing stand. Having a life is scrub behavior, exactly. This is such a long uh, path to uh, follow, by the way, just to uh, get to 
get through Ronnie's crash line. But we're not only doing it for Ronnie, after all. We're also doing it for selfish reasons. It sounds kind of weird that we're getting to the Lake of Rot for selfish reasons, but that's basically what it comes down to. Yeah, imagine being a productive member of society. Not on my watch. <laughs> Shrine of Amana, here we come. Well, there are definitely some similarities. Then again, the snipers are actually in Siofra River. <laughs> and they are even worse, arguably, than, uh, than the one in Shrine of Amana. Although Shrine of Amana is, of course, a mandatory place. And Siofra River is not. Oh, we also have to fight the spirit version of Blythe here. <laughs> having a having a life is scrub behavior, heart effects float up from the chat. I never really understood what that was all about, by the way, that heart uh, thingy here. <laughs> yeah, you can make hearts uh, pop up. Oh, by the way, I think we, because we also fought uh, Blythe in the... Which playthrough was that again? Well, another playthrough that we did. And we figured out that we uh, that you can actually quite easily backstab him when he uh, does his jump attack. The bill full so thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch. You see? The problem is we're not doing a lot of damage. But he also apparently cannot poise through that, so... That's definitely helpful. Okay, good. But he cannot be frostbitten. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, and he can heal! Son of a fuck. That's not good. At least he can be frostbitten. And he takes some more... Lightning damage from being in water, so that's good. He has a similar move to the Abyss Watchers. Uh, I can see some similarities there, yes. Oh, whoop. But this is a pretty good tactic. Bait his jump attack, backstab, and do the weapon art. Not super excited, but... Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just thought I would, would be able to just finish it there. Okay, let's finish it fancy. Nice. Yes, beautifully fought. Exactly, Rani. Fancily. Is fancily a word? I don't think fancily is a word. Oh. What's more beautiful than Ronnie saying that she loves you? Oh. She doesn't even say it about me. Well, Blythe is inspired by Guts, and so is Abyss Watchers and Notorious, yeah. <laughs> hey, this entire franchise is, is inspired by uh, Berserk. Okay, Flame Cleanse Me. Also, I should level up a bit. Actually, I will not be evil, even be able to use the <laughs> Katana yet. <laughs> I do have a whole bunch of uh, runes spared up, by the way, so maybe I should actually use those. Well, at least with Radicon Sorcerer, I now have 20 uh, 
20 dexterity, so that's something. Did I hear right that in New Game Plus you can move through the lake uh, at full speed or something? Yeah, there's something like that. I think it's with lava, for example. On New Game, lava slows you down. On New Game Plus, it doesn't. Something like that. It's a very, very peculiar type of change, but uh, apparently that is how it works. Um, okay, how does this... The problem is I don't actually have a... Oh, wait. The map is right here at the start. Because I think... Dragonkin soldiers in the bottom right corner. So it's best to first get to the grace here. And then simply move back. Heck, there might even be a stake of America. Hey, Darian Anderson. Gifted five memberships. Thank you so much, Darian. Tony Montana. Maxwell. Philip. Preston and... Azi, or Azai, channel members, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Darian. Everyone say thank you, Darian. Thank you, Darian. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for your generosity and uh, welcome new uh, members. By the way, I was actually thinking, which is probably my first mistake, but I was actually thinking of maybe getting rid of Patreon and just make a new uh, member tier and then uh, the second member tier will be uh, will give you the ability to uh, f uh, to watch my uh, videos early you know early access because that I now have that for Patreon but it might be more beneficial to simply keep everything in one place so I might end up doing that uh, pretty soon good luck on the run thank you so much Darren I appreciate that. Yeah, now we're getting to the annoying part because, as I said at the beginning, I actually never fought the Dragon King soldier in the in the Lake of Rot, so that's going to be fun. At least we got some practice in, since we already fought two of them. That actually doesn't help because you immediately get inflicted again, so... You basically just have to heal your way through it. But at least it will allow us to heal ourselves before actually taking on the uh, fight. Uh, I don't think the patron actually takes more. So, But it's just, you know, for tax purposes it's uh, more beneficial to keep it... Uh, to keep everything in one place. Also, maybe a lot of people are just not interested in uh, being on Patreon. So in that sense, memberships are more accessible in a sense. Uh, Flame Cleanse Me is actually in Lake of Leonia. It's in one of the camps with uh, the fire monks. It's just lying on the ground there. Pretty helpful spell. I think it uh, cures poison, rot, and I think it does something else as well. Not completely sure. <laughs> Taxes are fucking stupid, man. Yeah, but you don't fuck with the IRS or the Belastingdienst, as it's called over here. Uh, it burns away toxins. If it's poison scarlet rot, oh no, yeah, and cures these. Okay, it's just for yeah for uh, poison and scarlet rot. That makes sense. It's kind of weird, by the way, because you also have cure poison incantation. So what's the difference between that one and this one? So this one also cures rot, but the other one doesn't. So this is like an upgrade over cure poison, but it's very early in the game. Bit strange, but okay. Oh, it cures Frostbite because it deals a tiny bit of uh, fire damage. Oh, I see. Yes, Scarlet Rot is just Elder Ring's version of Toxic. Yes. That is correct. Um, let me think. Uh, yeah, uh, I believe... The Dragon King Soldier is over there. I don't know if you have to, like, make platforms appear or something. 
I can't say I really spent that much time in the Lake of Rod before because it's not really a location where you want to spend a lot of time. Strange, am I right? Well, to be fair, in uh, in Demon Souls, there's basically an entire art stone that is Lake of Rod, <laughs> more or less. Oh, wow, this... Uh Okay, there's an entire area here I didn't even know about. But there's nothing here, so what's this all about? Well, uh, if you want to dive down into uh, into the rot, then uh, this is where you can hide, hide dive from. Yeah, exactly, Patan. That's uh, my thought as well. Oh, there's a fight with an alabaster lord. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how little I know about the Lake of Rot. <laughs> but where exactly is the Dragonkin soldier then? Hey, there's a... One of those scarabs? Oh. Yeah, forget about it then. The problem is I'm going to run out of flesh before even fighting the, <laughs> the damn boss. And there are... Curse frogs here. Well, we first need to figure out where the boss is. I mean, I'm obviously not going to defeat it uh, right now. But we first need to figure out where the boss is to begin with. Is it that one? I mean, there has to be an easier way to get uh, there, right? Yeah, that's that's it. Okay, but there has to be a better way to get there. So let's see if there are some more platforms you can raise or whatever. Whoa, ooh. I almost died there. So that's where I was, that platform. I don't really see any switches here because I can't fight him literally inside of the rod itself. And I'm going to die now, by the way. So I would assume there are some switches you can press in order to actually have a place to fight him. Platform button on the right to the Dragon King, if I'm... Uh oh, that's actually a stake of America here. Okay, that's helpful. That's certainly helpful. So let's first look for the switches then. Yeah, that's where the Dragon King himself is. Okay, here's a switch. Okay, look, that that makes quite a difference. Crap, he's not waking up here, and then I have to heal myself again this way. Okay, no, that's good. Actually, I can just quickly use my frozen lightning spear here. Oh, fuck you, lock on. Oh, whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, follow up. Actually, a good thing that it was delayed this time. Oh! Whoa! It still one shot at me? Okay. <laughs> so we still are dealing with a dragonkin that can one shot me. 
Well, I guess uh, it makes sense that he is uh, skilled for a later area, because this is a later area, so... In that sense, I shouldn't be surprised. Well, as long as I can keep him on the platform there... Oh! Ooh, was it even necessary? Well, whatever. Well, I... Okay, but is that that little health? Well, it's Elden Ring, so I guess so. <laughs> Well, they are lightning resistant, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. But at least I can see what the hell is going on if I can attack him from a distance. Fuck. This time the delay. They oh, whoa, 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 I'm in the rot, I'm in the rot, I'm in the rot, and I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, the moment you get into the rot, then uh, panic uh, hits. That's for sure. And then he hits you. Because when panic hits, he hits you. I guess panic is his middle name. Dragon panic. Kin. Okay, that's stupid. Ooh. Just in time. But you would say that 22 Vigor is not that low, but yeah, apparently it is. I mean, you would think that the Frozen Lightning Spill does an immense amount of Frostbite buildup, but... I mean, he's not immune to frost after all. Oh, whoa! I was... He pushed me behind his arm somehow? That was really weird. <laughs> I thought I was... No, yeah, in front of his arm, I should say. I thought I was behind his arm, and then I suddenly was in front of his arm. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Run! Well, I'm going to get uh, rotted anyway, so... Also, it's true, by the way, that Flame Cleanse Me does a little bit of damage. Tiny bit. Maybe it's not even worth it to open up with Lightning Spear like this, but... Also, sometimes it hits twice, and sometimes it hits once. But it has a bit of a weird hitbox anyway, so... Fuck, I still get it. It's too slow. That's too slow. End game skilled boss and platform smaller than him and having to uh, go into the rotted dodge. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping that after getting a bit of pre Fuck. Okay, then let's just get to the other platform. <laughs> In fact, I might as well just directly go to that second platform, but whatever. But the thing is, if I don't attack with Lightning Spear, then it becomes pretty difficult to even... Get hits in at the start to begin with. Okay, he moves back to that hand. Ah, come on. Oh, oh, fuck. Ooh, I'm still rotted. Son of a fuck.
What a rotten way to die. Oh, actually, broke his poise. Oh, I frostbitted him. About time. <laughs> No, move away! Fuck! I can't see anything. The camera is definitely not your friend in this fight. Oh, now he's all the way over there on the rod. Not helpful. Okay, get back over here, uh, please. Whoa, fuck, Alicious, I make the same mistake. And now I just fucked up. I was healing and not good. I would say, yeah, RTSR, but in Lake of Rot, maybe a little yikesy. Yeah, I would say that's a little yikesy. Okay, so let's just immediately go to that platform. I'm going to get rotted anyway. All right. Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah, you basically have to fight. You cannot even see what the hell uh, he's doing. Which is a common uh, problem with big bosses in this game to begin with. But uh, also because he's hunched over and you're trying to attack his legs. Then basically you don't know where his arms are. <laughs> I bet Miyazaki saw this fight and was like, yes, yes, beautiful. I'm sure that was his reaction. Ah, what a rotten way to die. You see, now only the third hit hit twice and the other ones didn't. Oh, <laughs> I attacked the wrong fucking way. Oh, whoa, I'm in a rot. He was floating for a second. Damn it, almost hit his head. Hey, I'm. F what? Hey, what the hell? Where did the rot uh, buildup come from? Did he just splash up rot or something? That was weird. Oh yeah, he actually splashes rot around. Well, that sucks. Fuck. The delay got me. Oh, not good. Nice, hit him in that. Oh fuck, I'm out of FP. Oh, I was not even on the right spell anyway. Okay, <laughs> he just squished me. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any explanation for the hollowed out stomachs that have been in many from software games so far? There are also in other uh, from software games, which which enemy are you specifically referring to? Because uh, I do know there's an explanation for the giants at least. I, the, the dragonkin, I don't know exactly the lore behind them, but uh, when it comes to the giants, the... The giants have hollowed out stomachs because they are descendant of, uh, well, you know, the the uh, the fire giants, and they in their stomachs they have, you know, that uh, that face. So basically, that uh, face has been removed or something. I believe that's the lore reason behind it. I don't know for sure, but it's something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, he did a belly flop with a non-existent belly. Exactly. 
yeah, I guess I was right to be slightly worried about this fight. Even after getting a bit of practice with the other two uh, Dragonkins. You know, if Frozen Lightning Spear wasn't so slow, I would rely a bit more on it. Because then you at least can see what the hell you're doing if you're not near his legs. Oh, he's going to move his arm back. Fuck. Ooh. No, I can't move. Oh, ooh, I got lucky. Oh, nice. Boys break. Damn it, I couldn't get the critical. Well, still a lot of damage at least. Whoa, fuck. Fuck, I'm in the rot. Ah, almost a headshot. Ooh, that still almost hit me. Ah, oh, come on. You see, you can't even see that attack coming. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, suckalicious. Yeah, that's a good point. How can he even eat without the stomach? Basically, anything that he eats automatically falls out. So, who knows? He feeds on fear. Maybe that's the case. Ah, at least I got some more hits now with uh, the Frozen Lightning Spear. It apparently just comes down to uh, RNG, <laughs> whether it hits once or twice. Has a bit of a peculiar hitbox. But then again, it even has that when you fight the actual Dranken Soldier of Luxella, so... Okay, good. I cannot get the critical for whatever reason, but at least head attacks still do good damage, so I guess that's not so bad. Fuck! So, that's basically a problem if you cast the spell after, after a roll, you're basically already committed to that direction, which is a bit annoying. Uh-oh. No! Fuck, I knew that was going to happen. Damn it. That fight went actually pretty well, but then I just fucked up with that third attack that you cannot really see coming. But I knew it was coming, but I was I was heal, uh, using my flask and I shouldn't have. Suck -alicious. Sucks, because I had a good start. I had a much better start. And then I messed it up. <laughs> I'm going to repeat this one in Nuka Plus 7? No. Well, if you do it first, then maybe I will follow. Oh, fuck, I missed. No, that goes my shield. Not good. I 
I still attacked the wrong way. Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think this playthrough is still going to take a bit longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so in that sense, maybe the DS2 run that I had in mind wasn't even that uh, much uh, less time consuming. <laughs> Yeah, what boss is going to be worse than Melania in the DLC? Maybe Mikkel himself? Who inflicts instant sleep with every attack or something. And who is resistant to every damage type and status effect in the game. Which, by the way, is not really that far-fetched because everything related to Mikkel... Is related to a different damage type. I mean, the Sword of Satrina is magic. Nicholas Rings of Light are uh, holy. And I thought there was also something with fire, but there's, oh uh, yeah, um, the Satrina Storch actually scales with faith for whatever reason, and not with intelligence. So it's a bit all over the place when it comes to. Weapons related to Mikola. Oh, really? Fuck me. I heard rumors of a lake in the DLC causing death blight. Well, there is something like a sleep area at least. So when it comes to death blight, I don't know. Uh, it's possible that Mesmer is going to be on the level of Melania, but I have a slight suspicion that Mesmer is not going to be the pinnacle of the DLC. I think that's a bit of a bait. Mesmer is going to be one of the main bosses in the DLC, but I don't think it's the, like the pinnacle boss of the DLC. I don't think they're going to reveal that in the trailer. That's just a suspicion that I have. Could be wrong, of course, but that's a suspicion I have. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. I missed... That was opportunity. Oh, that's better. Hey, I finally got the critical and frostbite. Almost got hit by the delay again. They didn't even hit him? Oh. A roar that staggered me for whatever reason. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was a bit stupid on my end. Fuck! Also, my laptop is almost out of juice. Damn it, I should have defeated them already, but yeah, I'm just making stupid mistakes near the end. Mesmer is probably either going to be the Ludwig or the Maria rather than the Orphan. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so too. Well, maybe not Ludwig, but because Ludwig is literally the first fight in the Bloodborne DLC. 
I think it's closer to Lady Maria. One of the later fights in the DLC. And an important one. But not the pinnacle of the DLC. Oh fuck, I'm in the rot. Ooh, I got very lucky there. Oh, come on! <laughs> that's, that's, that was the AoE. You couldn't really tell whether I was behind it or not, but yeah, apparently not. Well, if I moved further back, then I would have been in the rot anyway, so... Shit, this guy sucks! <laughs> I don't think that's uh, much of a uh, controversial opinion, but... As I said before, this is literally the first time since the game came out that I actually fought this version of this boss. And my conclusion is he sucks a bit. <laughs> But hey, Miyazaki is having his fun now, because he, this is probably exactly what he envisioned. The animation is too slow, I just cannot dodge in time. Oh, fuck, I missed. I missed again. Oh, come on. Again! Again it happened that he, with his right hand, that's not even moving, he like pushed me in front of his other arm. Because I was behind his, uh, his arm that he was attacking with, you know, his left arm. And then suddenly I was in front of it. What the fuck is that about? That's fucking lame. I was literally behind it and all of a sudden, nope, you're in front of it. <laughs> that one didn't even hit. Ah, I was still using my flask. Okay, he just squashed me. That didn't I didn't think that would hit me, but apparently it did. From software hasn't really burnt anything with DLC. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's definitely true. The DLC as in any of the From Software games has always been the best part. So I think they are going to deliver in this uh, DLC again. Now they probably also have bullshit bosses like this. I wouldn't be surprised with that. Like a... Like uh, as people mentioned, like a death blight swamp. Where you have to fight like uh, Godstin Trio. <laughs> Let's at least hope they don't make that a mandatory fight. How did I still miss? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my god. How can you miss such a big target so easily? DS1 main game is better? No, it's not. I do not agree. Still, 
still no poise break? You got this press? Well, apparently not. Jesus. Please no spam, knowing there's going to be spam. There is going to be something in the DLC. That's like really uh, bullshit like. Hey press, how's the run going? <laughs> Way worse than I thought. I'm rusty as hell. I'm dying constantly. <laughs> and now I'm fighting a boss that I've never fought before. Well, I have, of course, in this run now fought two Dragon Kings already. So you would think I would know how to fight them by now. But apparently I still don't. But let's, let's just say that this version is the most annoying one. And I still hardly have any vigor, so... Oh fuck, now I missed my opportunity. Again! Again it happened! This is the third time now. The third time now. I can't even tell what, how, how that even happens. You're behind his arm and suddenly in front of his arm. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like, what even happens there? What pushes me in front of his arm? That doesn't even make any sense. That's not the third time that happened. You're behind his arm, so he's like, oh, he's not going to hit me. And then all of a sudden you're in front of his arm. Well, yeah, that's true, but then I can't... But uh, then I can't use my uh, Frozen Lightning Spear whenever I want. <laughs> How did that miss? Still missed. Okay, that's better. Got no critical, but... Oh, that's with the AOE. Yeah, now I'm... Oh. Okay, my shield saved me. But fuck it, let's just be at full health. I still got hit somehow. Uh, I literally didn't attack because I was expecting to have that bullshit again that you're in front of his arm. And I still took damage. <laughs> Holy crap, what the fuck? Okay, now I'm dead because I'm... Oh, he delayed, so that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bullshit. Damn. I don't know. I, uh, uh, hmm. This fight feels so wonky, this entire boss, just not just uh, uh, him here in the Lake of Rot, but just this entire moveset just feels off, a bit wonky. Come on, it's time to beat him. Medea is definitely the best boss fight, yes. Uh, the best dragon boss fight. <sighs> Can't hit his head. Ah, almost. Okay, good.
Hey, no, <laughs> now I'm in the rot. Oh, okay, I was just on the edge. Okay, I got lucky. Fuck, so much delay. And now I'm in the rot. Damn it, I don't know if the AoE gets me. Fuck, and again in the rot. Okay, I was behind the AoE this time. Oh, whoa, whoa! Well, I got stunned and then couldn't react. Fucking hell. I think you're expected to have a bit more HP at this point. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you would think that 22 Vigor is not that bad, but yeah, apparently it is. <laughs> but hey, if I would have uh, leveled Vigor very high, then I guess it wouldn't be a challenge run, right? Come on, fucking delay. Ooh, now I got lucky because of the delay. It's weird because his eye is the glowing point, you think you have to Do the critical attack in his eye, but you basically have to be right in front of his head. Oh! Am I? I don't know where the AoE is! Oh. Okay, got lucky. Okay, nice. Another. Hey, that's a true Elden Ring meta. Well, actually, spamming Ashes of War is a true Elden Ring meta, but jump attacks <laughs> is the uh, other meta, I guess. Again, I get stunned by the fucking... Okay, let's just be at full health then, just to be safe. What the hell? What even hit me? Oh, don't get greedy now near the end. Finally! Jesus, motherfucker. Ah. Oh. Wow. Well, it's not a great enemy. It's a very mediocre enemy, <laughs> if you ask me. But it gave me a great amount of trouble, that's for sure. Jesus, motherfucker. Ah, oh, well, finally, there it is, the Dragon Skill Blade. Jesus. Uh huh. It's about time. It's about time to get my first try victory. Son of a fuck face. Uh, there we have it. The dragon skill blade. I have all of my ice lightning attacks now. And it's about bloody freaking time. Uh, and of course the next boss is immune to frostbite. <laughs> If Estelle is going to be the next boss fight, at least, I don't know for sure. But I guess we could just finish uh, Ronnie's questline. Ah, uh, Let's uh, take a look, by the way, what the exact stat requirements are. Yeah, 20 decks, as I thought. 
I'm sure, uh, Shivan, but uh, it would be kind of weird to do a run where you only have three damage sources and then not collect the and use the third one. So, yeah. At least it's one that makes more sense to use one-handed. So, yeah. Some vigor might be a good idea. <laughs> or I should actually go and uh, get my stats high enough so that I can take off Radigan Source Hill because it's not really doing that much for me anymore. Because of the lack, uh, you know, the, the, the penalty to your defenses. Now, uh, first let's get to 20 uh, vigor then. What press would give for a fab ring? Well, maybe. Well, then again, the Draconic Tree Sentinel is obviously resistant to the lightning, but he is susceptible to frostbite. So I suppose, I, in, before doing a stealth, I could also just first do Draconic Tree Sentinel. You know what? First I'm going to take another piss and then uh, we'll decide. Oh, here, Rob Brown. Hey man, first live stream I visited. Your videos helped me a lot doing some depression a while back. Thanks for that. Aw. Sorry to hear that you're uh, struggling with depression, uh, Rob. But uh, glad to hear that my videos helped you to take your mind off uh, things a little bit. Okay, well, I'm going to take a quick piss and then uh, we might fight Draconic Tree Sentinel. Don't know yet. By the way, I'm going a bit later because uh, usually I stream until midnight. But uh, since I'm already pressed for time for this run, I'll uh, stream a little longer. I also started a little later, by the way. All right, so, so quick piss break and then we'll continue. Alright, and I'm back. Alright. <laughs> Later stream, press be pressing on. Yeah, exactly. I even cracked open my second beer. My Neuborg uh, Superior Pilsner. <laughs> Chateau Neuborg Superior P Pilsner. Which, by the way, is that blue bottle that you always see in my... Well, not always see, but uh, sometimes see in, uh, in my videos. In the, in the section where you see my uh, avatar. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I... First go to the, the, the chronic... Pfft, I can't hardly speak. So first go to... <laughs> the beer's already working. Uh, first go to the chronic Tree Sentinel, or should I uh, just uh, finish up Ryan's questline first? Any preference? 
Oh, by the way, let's check. Okay. Uh, Ronnie Scratch. Okay, you want to uh, fight? Uh, you want me to <laughs> now fight a boss that is immune to uh, frostbite that I don't really fight that many uh, that many times. In well, actually, how many Elden Ring playthroughs have I've done in which I included the Estelle? Not a lot. So, yeah, and then basically the rest of the stream is going to be uh, trying to defeat Estelle, probably. Okay, then at least we got another level. Um... Yeah, that's weird. Estelle... It would make more sense, I would say, that Estelle could be Frostbitter, but not Blad. Then again, Estelle probably comes from uh, outer space, so how can he be Frostbitten? I mean, outer space is not really known for its warmth. Well, unless you're close to a star, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, space is kind of cold. Uh-oh, I think that Kindred saw me. Fucking pest rats. <laughs> You're a lore master now. Nah, no. <laughs> they are essentially worshiping, worshiping the scorpion stinger. <laughs> because that's uh, the dagger that you can find there. By the way, I noticed that uh, now I'm playing on PS5. I still have the character that I did my blind playthrough with. Which reminded me because... Uh, I mainly use daggers in my blind uh, playthrough, including the Scorpion Stinger at some point, by the way. But mainly the the Great Knife, because I started as the Thief. And uh, uh, the Reduvia. Also the Crystal Knife, even, at some point. Oh, and uh, other than daggers, I also used uh, the Knight Rider Flill, because, hey, Flills were new. But yeah, they kind of suck, flills. <laughs> the flill is a fill in this game, because basically they are just less convenient uh, versions of the hammers. The, the Night Rider flill is basically the Morning Star, but just with a uh, less, less usable uh, R2 attack. Because that's ma the main reason why flills suck so much, the R2 attacks just are so slow. But hey, who knows, maybe uh, maybe the eight, can you believe that? Eight new weapon classes in the DLC will have some really interesting options. Kind of sucks that I don't even start with uh, full health, but yeah, that's fine. So yeah, it kind of sucks that uh, I cannot frostbite him, but yeah. And it might actually be the case that the Halbert is more beneficial here than the... Then the dragon skull. Thirty more base damage. Well, it's not that much of a difference, but we'll see. But as I said, I hardly ever fight Estelle, so it's been a while. Hey, during the community run, we also had a bit of issue with him uh, fighting him with. <laughs> Out any upgrades, so yeah. Damn it, I actually didn't even use my. Uh... Oh, oh! <laughs> he did the fourth one. He's also in water, by the way, so he should be taking more lightning damage at least, so that's something. That was not the correct timing.
I wanted to say jump attacks should probably help me get another uh, poise break, but given that he teleports so much and moves away so much, that's probably not even true in this case. Also, I have less reach with this weapon than with the Halberd. But the charge of two attacks maybe could help me out a bit. <laughs> two damage, very helpful. Ah, I avoided the DS2 hitbox, very good. Fuck! I mistimed. I mistimed that as well? Jesus, I'm mistiming everything. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have fought Estelle uh, instead of... Uh, <laughs> instead of the Chronic Tree Sentinel. I shouldn't have listened to you guys! Meh. Okay, let's just switch back to the Dragon Halberd. I guess that's better in this case. By the way, it is smart that in uh, these fights that they extend the lock on, because you can immediately lock onto him the moment you walk into the boss arena. So that's at least a smart thing. Yeah, I guess I should have done that. Okay, that's better. Also, I'm way more likely to hit him with jump attacks with this weapon than with the katana. You see? <laughs> don't blame your skill issues on us, yeah. But I don't know, it's much easier. Otherwise, you have to take, like, responsibility and that kind of stuff. I know, that's... That sounds a bit lame. Who avoided the DS2 headbox? Fuck, can you even avoid that when you're stuck in it? Because I think it goes faster than your roll. Fuck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, explosion. No, 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 good. Not good. Uh-oh, shit. Actually, I should have run forward so that I was behind the attack. Okay, it worked out. Worked out. Uh-oh, no shit. Fuck. Ooh, I thought I was too early, but apparently not. So it's a good thing. Ooh, I also thought I was too early, but also worked out.
Damn it, I'm not going to get a stun uh, uh, if he just keeps teleporting. Oh, I, oh, hey. Apparently I do. Definitely got lucky with that then. Fuck, no, not good. Most bosses that run away are pretty annoying. Eh, Elden Beast. <laughs> I don't think that's a controversial opinion. <laughs> nice! Alright. Okay, it worked out better than I expected eventually. Emphasis on it eventually, of course, but hey. Well, you can say what you want, but hey, it uh, took less <laughs> less attempts than the stupid uh, Dragonkin uh, soldier. Okay, well, at least that takes care of Ronnie's quest line. Uh, actually, it doesn't because we still have to uh, acquire the ring. Oh fuck! We cannot finish qu Ronnie's quest line because then we have to go and defeat Ronala. We haven't defeated Ronala. Well, that sucks. I thought uh, Ronala was not going to be mandatory. Well, she still isn't mandatory. I don't have to do Rani's ending. But then again, it just feels a bit off to do our entire quest line and then not. Yeah. Um, okay, first... First, let's get my actual stats so that I no longer have to use Radic and Sorcil. But I guess we can uh, quickly do uh, the academy. It's not uh, it's not that much of an obstacle. Fingers crossed. Okay, so at least we now have enough strength. I have some more runes I can pop, so that's good. Twenty dex. That's what I need, but I'm not close to that yet. Well, at least until. Yeah, that's definitely quite a bit of a difference, but also HP-wise. Ah, it's actually not even that much of a difference at this point. At least for the Halbert, it's it's enough. But then again, of course, if I use the Lightning Scorpion charm, then my defenses are back where they were. Hmm. <laughs> Red Wolf of the Champion flashback. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, that was quite something. That was also without an uh, upgraded weapon, but that was just completely arbitrary. <laughs> For no reason whatsoever. Um, you know what? Let's first go and collect the... The Lightning Scorpion charm then. Why not? And then we'll just quickly go through the academy. Probably not smart if I want to uh, make sure that I finish this playthrough quickly. So, but yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it's probably going to be hell to get this video done before the 26th. But I'll see what I can do. Well, we're definitely not going to fight the stupid Tibia Mariner. Harry Potter hat is at the academy? <laughs> is that a different uh, word for... For either Alexander or uh, Let Me Solo Her? <laughs> well, Let, Let Me Solo Her is in uh, Solovus' uh, basement. Problem is, I don't know exactly where the Light and Scorpion Charm is. I know it's in this catacomb. Can catacomb, by the way, even be used in a singular sense? Because they always say catacombs. 
Is it even possible to use the word singular? Like, what, what is a single catacomb? Because this entire area is already plural. I don't know. Maybe a weird uh, quirk of the English language. Let that there be light. Oh, that's a trap. And you can only say that if you're fish, if you have a fish head. Okay, I think you have to. Um, it was somewhere up a ladder, I think. And then you drop down, there's a lever, or lever. I think that's where the scorpion charm was, if I remember correctly. Which run was it where I need to collect that one then? What other run did I, di uh, did I do where lightning was a primary source of damage? Because I do remember that I had to go and collect that charm in another playthrough, but I don't remember which one. Favorite Elder Ring boss? Um, I think Horolu is definitely one of my favorite ones. Malekith, of course. Uh, yeah, Horolu, Malekith, and Melania, probably. Oh, crap. First, fl quick heal. Heal, heal, heal. I'm not sure if you even have to pull this lever, but at least you have iframes on doing it. Oh no, that's just for the door. Uh, fuck, now I don't... Eh. That stupid message prevented me from rolling. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that message prevents you from rolling. Well, that's lame. So, but no, that's to get to the boss of this uh, catacomb. I don't even know what the boss of this catacomb is, by the way, but... <laughs> you like Moog? Yeah, a lot of people like Moog. I hate the Lord of Blood. I am okay, kind of, with Sura Moog, because he doesn't have the second phase. But, uh, yeah, Malekith, Horolu, and... Melania, probably yeah, my favorites. Uh, Morgoth is also uh, a good one. But now I still don't know how to get to the scorpion charm. You have to get to the other side there. But how do you get to that other side? Oh, actually I framed that somehow by going up the ladder. That's weird. But can you go somewhere from here? No, you can't. Huh? Lightning Scorpion is bound. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Malekith does have relatively little health compared for, uh, to other bosses, uh, late, late game bosses. Yeah, that's definitely true. But that's basically what Malekith is. He's like a glass cannon, so to say. He inflicts a lot of damage, especially because of the, the death and death effect. But he also cannot take a lot of damage.
But yeah, I suppose it would make sense if he, his second phase got its own health bar. Come on. How many beers does it take to find a scorpion charm? Yeah, apparently a lot. But now I still don't know in what playthrough did I have to get the scorpion charm. Because there was a playthrough in which I had to do that as well. But which one was that then? No, not the rain, because there's no lightning there. That's weird. I don't know. I could have sworn there was a playthrough in which I also uh, went to get uh, the lightning scorpion charm. But I just don't remember which one it could have been. Because I don't think I've d I did any uh, playthrough that was about lightning damage. I mean, the rain one is only um, is only magic damage after all, yeah, and and just physical damage, you know, with the rain of arrows. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I guess maybe at the end of the Vike run, but that I didn't do that one. On stream, because I thought there was something on stream. Well, then I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering. It's not that uh, surprising. But yeah, I suppose at the end of the Vike run, I used uh, the Scorpion Charm. That makes sense. So, you actually have to go here, then. Oh, it's it's lit, huh? Okay, then I'm remembering something else. Then I'm literally remembering something else. Because I remember having to drop down behind that gate over there. So what's behind that gate then? That's what I remember. Something that something that you have to collect behind that gate, but I do, first of all, I literally don't know how you get there. That's weird. So what's behind that gate then? Was that something for the skeleton run that's behind that gate? Not a rose's axe, because that's in the Black Knife catacombs, I think. Huh. That's weird. There is something behind that gate, but I don't remember what. Because that's what I remember, that you have to drop down somewhere and you get behind that gate and there's something you have to pick up there. But what do you pick up there? I think it was something in the skeleton run then. Or in the Malekith run? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. But hey, I'm also confused about the stamina tier, so... That's apparently suddenly in Kaelot. Hey, now we're here anyway, let's check what actually the boss of this uh, catacomb is, because I have no clue. Oh, of course. Burial. Uh... Oh, also the lightning version. Of course, in water. Well, he definitely cannot be frostbitten. It's a statue. But yeah, apparently behind that gate there's something that was relevant in either the skeleton run, skeleton run or the Malekith run. Maybe a death route? No. Uh, hello? You're going to do something? Oh fuck. Not good. Farkalicious, not good. Still hate you because of the water. Sneaky Miyazaki. Oh, whoa. Oh, fuck. I don't have any flesh left. Ah, oh, the AoE got me. <laughs> Lame. 
Ah, oh, whatever. We don't need to uh, defeat him anyway. Well, it was close at least. Probably a plant? No. Damn it, now I'm constantly thinking about what is behind that gate. What's the name of this place? Windham Catacombs. What was behind that gate? Let's see what the items are here. Lightning Scorpion Charm, Ancient Ring, Apostle... C Magic Re... Skeletal... No. <laughs> I, st I still can't figure it out. Whatever. I don't know. I just can't remember. I'm just sure that I needed to go there in one of my playthroughs. I think in the skeleton run or in the Malika run, but I just don't know why. Well, we got the lightning scorpion charm, but yeah, but now my uh, defenses are uh, taking it in the ass again. That does suck. Let's see what happens if you combine it. Uh, minus. That's not good. That's not good. Well, at least we should now... Oh, that's the wrong uh, grace. Doesn't really matter, by the way. It's just... Uh, just going through the gate, but... We should do fine against the uh, Red Wolf now, I suppose. I assume that from defeating that... Uh, Earth Tree Burial uh, Watchdog, you just get a Spirit Ash or something. Yeah, it would be nice to just fast travel immediately to the right grace, but unfortunately, cannot do that. But that's a really great feature in Cheetah Engine uh, when you're playing on PC. That you just can unlock every grace in the game and then all of the travel time is gone. That's definitely a lot more pleasant. What? In the past people have eaten mummies? What the fuck? How can you even eat a mummy? I mean, I... Uh, I uh, to be fair, I've eaten your mummy, but that's, that's a different context. But eating a mummy with a... Uh, you know, in that sense, Egyptian mummy? I don't understand how that even works. Like, how are you not dying from that? Hey, I have, I have an arrow in my ass. Son of a bitch. People have eaten many things. Yeah, that's true. There are people who eat Huzara salade. Which I, by the way, have no idea what the English term for that is. It's a type of salad that is absolutely disgusting. One of the most vile uh, f types of foods that has ever been concocted. I don't know what's called in English. Poop salad, yeah. No, poop salad would, uh, would probably be better. It's kind of weird. The ingredients aren't even that bad. It's just, I don't know. For whatever reason, I just think it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> the key difference between American mommy and European mummy. Yeah. Definitely. By the way, it does feel kind of wrong to not use the katana given that I went through so much trouble getting it. So, Oh, by the way, but then I have to use the source seal. No, it doesn't work because then I have to use the source seal. Uh, then after we have enough levels. Have you had ambrosia? Isn't that the food of the gods? Sounds really good. Ow. Oh, it actually did hit him and for a lot of damage as well. Uh, the problem is Red Wolf is pretty good at avoiding stuff.
Oh, whoa! He actually still had me. That almost always goes over your head, but that was too far away. Fuck. Oh, come on! That's so nasty, that, uh, that jump attack when the projectiles are out. <laughs> because you try to avoid the jump attack and then you uh, get it anyway. But what? what? People also eat a whole bird marinated alive? What the fuck? Good old Salmonella Academy. Well, that's an interesting way to put it. Yeah, as you saw, Frozen Lightning did an immense amount of damage to him, but the biggest problem is he is just too nimble. He can too easily avoid it. Again, that combination. To be fair, I simply shouldn't use that attack, but hey, I want to because it looks so fancy. <laughs> because I basically... I'm, oh! Oh, I suddenly killed him! <laughs> because I'm, I was trying to say, I basically am forced to tank attacks when uh, using uh, a slow spell like that. But yeah, if it hits him full on and activates a frostbite, yeah, then it basically is going to uh, just melt his life bar, which is ironic given that it was frostbite. We melted his heart with a cool Hawaiian song or whatever what the, the South Park joke is. Oh, we didn't even get enough uh, runes from that. Well, that's lame. Well, we still have a bunch. Now we still don't have enough for the katana. We need three more levels for that. That's quite a lot of runes, and these aren't that worth that much. No, it's not even one level. Hey, Surisato! How's it going? I don't really know how to answer that. <laughs> Let's just say I... Uh for some reason, I'm dying more than you would expect on a, like on a level 1 playthrough. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's not a golden seed uh, over here. What is the h highest level that you got a character in this game? I have no clue. Ow. I have absolutely no clue. I do, uh, I've never done a, a, a run in which it was particularly about getting a specifically high level or something, so... 150? I don't know. He somehow didn't hit me. I mean, not, not complaining, but I am surprised. My flask is still full, you dick. Ow. Hey, hey I knocked him down. <laughs> Pierce damage, you dick. 
Yeah, that's good in PvP, I would say. <laughs> Stab attacks. The problem is now I don't have my uh, all of my flash, so... Maybe it's actually better to... Ah, we'll just see what happens. There's a type of coffee that is fed to a rodent and fished out of the excrement they used... Yeah, that's... It's, 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 why is that even a thing? I think a lot of those uh, delicatesses uh, from uh, like... Uh, like uh, Central America, Central or South America, and Africa, and that kind of stuff is like when there are uh, foreigners coming over. They're like, okay, let's see what we can uh, make them eat, and think they're actually eating something special, and then they just give something absolutely disgust disgusting. And then when they're gone, they're all laughing. Oh, I can't believe they're eating that. Oh, wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, I don't think I have enough FP for this fight. <laughs> but hey, at least Renala is uh, standing in water. In the second phase, so that's something. Hey, you have to, say, have to admit, it's a pretty fancy looking armor set, this. Uh... So in that sense, it was a good choice for this uh, playthrough. What the hell does Culver actually mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll soon birth thee. To be fair, I also didn't know that sweeting was a word. I thought she said sweet things, but... Yeah, sweeting. Apparently it's a word. Who would have thought? <laughs> actually, I could even hit them with the seal and it would still... Uh... <laughs> After all, you don't have to actually kill them. Hey, where's the third one? Oh, there. Oh, we're doing uh, really good damage. Oh, I, uh, she wasn't even... Okay, well, whatever. Okay, maybe I will have enough FP then. Okay, where's the third one? There. Oh! <laughs> I got lucky! <laughs> the chandelier did it for me. Kind of interesting that Rani in the cutscene, by the way, calls you out for fighting her mother, mother but then that never actually <laughs> is even brought up when you uh, when you get to her. Oh wow, I'm destroying her. Okay. Wow. And uh, again. Plus zero weapons, that's the whole point. Holy crap. <laughs> I think there have been playthroughs in which I have upgraded my weapons and not even come close to uh, doing that much damage to Renala. She didn't even get uh, the chance to do her second phase. And in the meanwhile, I'm just dying uh, 20 times over against a fucking Dragonkin soldier. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, uh, she is standing in water, so... That's something, I guess. Okay. Where did he flee, my sweeting? Where, where did your life bar flee? It just suddenly disappeared. There are books okay. Light, Do they not? Come Very surprised, but hey, now maybe I have enough uh, enough uh, levels to uh, use the katana again. Also, if at some point I need to respec now, then I will have that ability, so that's good. Oh, almost, but I have some more runes, so... Where 
Uh, one more. <laughs> the no stamina run in DS3 was hard to watch. <laughs> it was hard to play. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite an experience. That's for sure. Probably still one of my favorite uh, DS3 videos. Well, I haven't done that many DS3 videos, come to think of it. Okay, that's maybe not a good, <laughs> not a good example. But still... That's uh, definitely, uh, that was quite a memorable playthrough, that's for sure. In fact, I will, uh, I don't think it's possible to even forget that. That was one hell of an experience. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to actually level up. Alright, so now we have 20 dexterity again, so I can switch back to the katana. Even though <laughs> it's very clear that the dragon halberd is better than the katana. But hey... All right. But what we are here for was the ring. Because we wanted to finish Rani's questline. The Dark Moon Ring. So now we can actually go and marry Rani. Uh, are you going to do a Nuka Plus 6 or 7 fresh start video? I've never done Nuka Plus 7 fresh start. No, I actually don't think I've ever done a fresh start. I, I've done fresh start ones, of course, uh, yeah, like a New Game Plus uh, things, but not specifically New Game Plus 7, right? No. Good points. Have I never done that? Really, never? Huh. This surprises me. The One-Eyed Shield run. I think Dumbo, by the way, did that run. I think so. If you uh, check out Doom Wolf, I think he did, uh, did a run with the One-Eyed Shield. Or it was the other one, with uh, that other face uh, shield. With the flames, I don't know. It was one or the other. Um. Okay, over there. Oh, why do I even place it? <laughs> I think that it's pretty. It's pretty evident under the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Starlight shards, which I may or may not need. Well, at least if I run out of FP flash, then I at least I have a backup. <laughs> and then one more in front of these things. That's why you usually find them after all. Oh, you never even heard of Doom Wolf. Oh, there you go. One of my colleagues. If you never heard of Baron Castle, he is also in the in the chat. Oh, careful! Let's put on some light. So that we can safely get down to Mary Ronnie. <laughs> Lies of P as a Master Chief. <laughs> yeah, there's not really any Halo uh, things in uh, Lies of P. Who knows what in the DLC uh, we'll get for uh, when uh, when it comes to new uh, types of weapons and Legion arms, especially. I did want to do uh, more with Lies of P, but yeah, the hype just immediately died down. I was uh, trying to do like a level 10 run, but yeah. Which, to be honest, wouldn't uh, have uh, gotten any views anyway, but... It's understandable that that's something I would have wanted to do. I had another idea for a, li for a Lies of P run, which may at some point I will be able to do, but... 
It's gonna take a while. Because the... The coming two months, I will be focusing on Stellar Blade. Or, well, we, of course, we don't know how much to do. Uh, we can do with that. But maybe in between that and the Elder Ring DLC, I can have the ability to do something else. It all depends on how a Stellar Blade is going to turn out. And how much, how many options there are for challenge runs in that game. Because I fear it's going to be quite limited. But who knows? And then, of course, we have the Elden Ring DLC, and I will do a few runs in that, of course, before returning to anything else. But it's inevitable, of course, that I will return to the other Souls games. I still want to do that, uh, the DS2 uh, run without Soul memory, and there's a specific modded run that I want to do with DS3. But... Unfortunately, that will have to wait. But that doesn't mean we're not going to do it, of course. No, no, I understood uh, that you are correct. You're talking about an SO one run at max NG, but starting fresh rather than already having uh, everything uh, at the start of the run. I understood the concept. All right, very nice. And now the best weapon in the game. <laughs> well, that's definitely a, a weapon I'm not going to take into the DLC because uh, I don't want to be too overpowered in the DLC. But actually, to be fair, it doesn't even matter what you take into the DLC because let's face it, I uh, we probably all have had ideas of like, oh, I'm going to take this build into the DLC or that build. But chances are that an hour into the DLC, you're going to find all kinds of new stuff and you're going to respec or whatever, and you're going to use whatever you find. So it doesn't even really matter what you, uh, what kind of build you take into the DLC. All right, very quickly, let's do the Draconic Tree Sentinel, unless I'm going to die. <laughs> Which is not unlikely, given uh, how poorly things have gone in this playthrough so far. And then we're going to call it quits to, for to, uh, tonight. But we're going to continue tomorrow, because I have to <laughs> get this run done as quickly as possible, obviously. I haven't really thought about uh, Converse's mod. I was, I kind of assume that um, most people aren't really interested in that kind of stuff, which maybe I'm assuming wrong. <laughs> I do think that the Arch Thrones uh, mod looked very cool. It is basically just a reskin of, uh, <laughs> basically just a com. Whoa, uh, what the hell? A combination of reskins of every boss fight from. All the other games, but still, it's very well made. That's definitely sure. It was very well made uh, mod, especially because that was just a demo, and that was it contained like a ridiculous amount of bosses, which is pretty impressive. Oh, oops. Okay, let's just first use the weapon art just to get the buff. But in a sense, I could counter his... Whoa, whoa. Okay. His counter his lighting with my own. <laughs> From a distance. Okay, let's save that for the... Second phase then. Okay, I'm... Already definitely noticing... That my weapons start to drop off in damage. Of course, this guy is lighting resistant, but... Frostbite is certainly helping. Oh, fuck delicious. Oh, fuck. I mistimed. The flame breath. That's not good. Oh, 
Oh! I wanted to say lightning, like in the in uh, Happy Souls, but uh, his lightning out lightning my lightning. <laughs> because his attack is a bit faster than mine. <laughs> Well, MacAster, I uh, I am planning on recording my first playthrough of the DLC at least, just the same uh, in the same way like I did with uh, my first playthrough of the main game uh, of Elden Ring. Ah, fuck it. Let's just open with <laughs> the frozen lightning. That was actually not very good. <laughs> That's even worse. And now I'm going to get hit because I'm in the animation. Okay, maybe that wasn't so smart. Charge at two attacks are way better in this fight, I think, than just spamming lightning spears against a boss that can attack very quickly. Well, to be honest, that applies to basically any boss, but the problem is... The frozen lightning spear looks so fancy. So it's just a shame to not use it. Oh, the buff has run out. Hey, <laughs> that worked out. <laughs> When can you even safely attack with Frozen Lightning Spear in this fight? Oh, whoa! I completely mistimed that. It was way too early. Okay, pure gamble. Uh, okay, I got... <laughs> I gambled and I lost. <laughs> yeah, Frozen Lightning Spear is probably not going to help me out in this fight. But that sucks because that looks so cool. He's using, he's spamming his red lightning and I spamming my white lightning. It would look so cool. But it's not beneficial, that's definitely for sure. <laughs> I mean, just using melee attacks with my katana is obviously more effective, but not as interesting. Oh, they missed me. Doesn't matter if it looks cool. What kind of attitude is that? That's the most important part. That's also how you decide what armor to use. And what weapons to use, because they... Oh, fuck. Oh. That was my physic flask. Also, rebuffing is something. Uh, I have to find the right opportunity for it. Oh, speaking of buffing, I can also use... Golden Vow. I'm, I'm not even use, uh, talking about the Ash of War, but just the spell. Which is something I could have used <laughs> almost since the beginning. Well, not literally the beginning. You need 25 faith for that, but... You know what I mean. Ah, that was safe enough. Whoa! That looked cool. Maybe that's... Uh, now the problem is I will probably not even remember it for the intro, but...
Oh, I was still too early? Jesus. Uh oh, no, 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 I'm fucked. Ooh, oh, I got lucky. Okay, that worked out. What the hell is... What is my problem? Why am I mistiming everything? Even the most simple attacks, I'm mistiming. Yeah, you basically have to dodge the moment he moves his arm down, if we shield down. I do know the timing, I just didn't do it. Have to buff again, uh, but he has to give me the best opportunity for that. Otherwise I'm going to tank damage and I can't really take that much damage. Okay, that's better. That's also something that would look cool in the intro. Hopefully I will not forget that. Okay. Quite mean also how those fireballs are exactly timed to uh, to mess up your uh, your Astus use. Because it basically can get you stuck inside of a healing loop. And that's Pretty evidently by design. Damn it, I wanted to use Frozen Lightning Spear again, but. I didn't have enough FP. Right and Lightning, maybe. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. I wanted to finish with Frozen Lightning, but I got still hit by the AoE. Come on, move forward! Yeah, oh, whoa! I still got him. Nice. Okay. That was a sufficient enough ending then. Alright, very good. Okay, I think that is enough for tonight then. Holy crap, did I die a lot in this playthrough you can really tell how rusty i am <laughs> you can really tell how rusty i am and not in the sense of ranking stuff that's weird that literally feels like my skill level has gone down <laughs> over the uh over the time but yeah i haven't done that many uh Elwing, uh videos since well the last one yeah of course the community run but before that the last one was the the flame dance run and that was like almost a year ago, so yeah. It is what it is, I guess. It is what it is, I guess. But hey, you guys enjoy it when I die a lot, so hey. Alright. Well, at least we're getting uh, at a bit more decent level now. So. Alright. Tomorrow we're going to continue. Um, maybe... Also, a little later than usual, so at uh, half past eight rather than eight. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens. You can uh, you'll see when the video appears. I mean, uh, I always have it at least 
uh, what's it called? Scheduled. I always have it scheduled at least a little uh, before the stream starts. Sometimes even four hours before the stream starts. So uh, you'll notice when it uh, when it uh, when uh, when it when it will start tomorrow. Damn it! I can hardly talk. I don't know if the if it's the beer or just uh, because it's the end of the stream. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I always stutter, but whatever. All right. Thank you all for being here. And hopefully I will see you again tomorrow for uh, probably a lot more deaths. But hey, we're at least getting at a uh, much more uh, suitable level. But the farther we get into the game, the more our damage is going to drop off. <laughs> because we can't upgrade our damage. I mean, levels are not going to do that much after all. But once we get into the ca uh, capital at least we can uh, get the gravel stone seal to get 10 percent more out of our frozen lightning spear it's something at least so thank you all for being here guys and uh, hopefully i will see you again tomorrow and have a good night's sleep and a good night in general <laughs>